financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-9421. That's 877-227-9421. Or just visit our website. We're on 27 right here. We're back live here at Art Sanders Field. Senators get on the board. 75-yard touchdown run by quarterback Kent Chase. Oh, the first play from scrimmage there. Two-point conversion run by Ethan Roberts and uh, Jack Armstrong back out to kick it away as the Senators lead eight to nothing. Another Line run. drive right in the middle. It goes to Jackson Bruff. He'll field it, come up the center, gets hit at about the 40, wow. and he'll go backwards as he gets pummeled there by uh, look like uh, 56 Six, there on Gavin the ball. That's Gavin Ball. Senior coming through with a big tackle there. Pretty good field position, though, is they'll take it out to about the 37 or 8-yard line where they'll spot it, and that's where the Lions will start first and 10. Actually going to spot him right up at the 40. So they'll start their possession here, the second one of the night for Salem, at the 41, actually. And it'll be first and 10 Lions. They'll split one guy wide to the far side. They'll go with Maul out of the shotgun and Boeing behind him here. Stacked to the near side. Set a man in motion. Snap will come. It's a high one. They yeah, get it to Boeing. They, they jumped they, off. Yeah, they had too many guys yeah. going. Boeing picks up about four yards, but I think that one's going backwards. Well, when you go in that motion in your stack like that, one of the hardest things is to make sure that nobody's flinching or moving. And I saw about two or three guys. Yeah, they're sitting number five, Blake Lorman, in motion, going to that far side to lead block. And, so he's uh, more of a blocker. Would he? Is, yes. he, is he somebody we're going to have to see him try to dump it off to? You watch way more film than I do. Yeah, I, I don't think they'll dump to him too much. He's pretty much what they call a cruiser. Okay. They call him a cruiser back. He'll lead block. Um, every once in a while, you'll see him toss the ball to him. But um, for the most part, he's pretty much there to block. And that's going to be a loss of about five yards back to the 36 yard line. Not how the Lions want to start there with 9.38 left, centers up 8 nothing here. It'll be first, first and, and 15 from the Senator 36 yard line. So first and 15 for the Lions as they'll line up. Adam Mall out of the shotgun with uh, Bowling behind him. Snap oh, they almost didn't get to him. Wants to throw it. He throws it in the flat. Justin Stevenson makes a grab, but good defense by Crest. Yeah. As Hudson comes across, only a two yard pickup. So he gets it out to Stevenson, and he's one of their weapons. He, he'll be the guy that uh, they throw to him and Bowman a lot, and you got to watch them down the field. So a gain of two on the pass play. It, it's something you don't want to give them space to get going, Bubba. You want to get them tied up quickly, which is what we – you don't want to whiff. Right. We talked about, and that's something, you know, hitting a guy low, hitting that belly button, as they say, and driving somebody back. So second down and 13 now at the 37. Ball out of the gun once again. Boeing behind him. Snap will come here. He'll turn, hand it off. Oh, oh he, he dropped it. Almost lost it, him, oh, but he man. got it back. Evan was uh, very alert there as number 11, uh, Wyatt Johnston, comes across to make the hit. Loss of a yard by Bowling, so it's going to bring up third down and 14 Yeah, now. he recovered well there. Yeah, he about he, lost the ball. That was and, close. And in, in, same, in the same token, Wyatt Johnston also did a good job of finishing that tackle because had he gotten away, there was some green in front of him. Yeah, here's one of the things I talked about, too. They've got a new center in there, Noah Dalton, because of the injury to Hunt. Yeah. And uh, they've had a little trouble with the snap. Two receivers wide to the far side. Watch one Roberts the on the heat side on the far side snap there. Snap come to uh, Maul. He's going to throw it. He's got a guy out in the flat, just overthrows him, trying to get it out there to number three, Harley Shockey, as that ball will fall incomplete, and that will bring up third down. So the uh, Senators hold once again, and they'll get the ball back here on the punt. So a great job by the defense coming out to play here tonight. Now, one thing that's going to have to be, you know, we've seen all the stuff with the punts here is also staying home, Bubba. Because yeah. if you got a bad snap, you don't want to give them a free run. So Bowman back there to kick it away, number 28. Snap will come back. It's a high one, but no pressure. Bowman gets Ooh. one off short, high Get kick, out of the way, get out of the way. And everybody moves away from it. It's going to bounce down there and be fielded at about the 43 by Salem. So that's where the Senators will start at their own 43-yard line. And we'll see if they can come out and duplicate what they did the last yeah, let, time. I mean, let's see what kind of look we're going to get defensively. Because I'm going to be honest with you, Bubba. You go with that. If and you they say, stack that, I'd run it all night all long. All night long. Just say, here, Ken Chase doesn't have to play yeah. defense. He doesn't have to kick off. If he's got to run, he's got to run. Well, they come out in that 4-3, and it looks like this time they're, they're not out stacking yeah. up as much. Now they go and kind of move some people around. Now here they come again. Looks like they're going after. Yeah, so Ken will go under center this time, eye in the backfield. 
Snap will come on first down. They'll turn, hand it off. It'll go to Roberts. And he just pushes just, the pile forward. Picks up about uh, two to three yards there. We'll see where they spot it. But a good run there by uh, Ethan as he just pushes forward. So a gain of about uh, two they'll give him on the carry. And it'll be second down and eight now for the Senators. Well, that's also a play, Bubba. You want to give your guys on defense, you know, a little chance to breathe there. You know, right. they were, they've had two quick. Everybody's got that adrenaline. Now it's about focus. Now it's about just, hey, let's get a great drive here. So the Senators will break the huddle, come to line, second down and eight. Kenton under center. Cress behind him. He'll hand – nope, keeps it himself. He's got Grayson out. McCoy out He's wide. The guy behind him gets a good block, and he cuts the corner, picks yeah. up. Oh, there's going to be a block in the back, I believe, yeah. against the Senators. Yeah. Didn't have much contact. Our guy kind of pulled up, but yeah. it was too late as he got it yeah. on him there, right there at about the 45-yard line. So I believe that one's going to come back. Kenton able to pick up about uh, – 10 yards on the carry, but it's going to be a hold against the Senators. So, bad thing about that, it's a spot foul clear in the backfield. Yeah. So, it's going to be second down and about uh, 18 or so for the Senators as they'll march it off here. So, a holding penalty negates that run. And now we – you know, this is something here we see. Do we throw the ball here, Bubba, or do you run it again? I that, think you keep running until they stop it. Until they stop it. You know, you go with that. I mean, I think we haven't seen Johnson yet on a carry. Um, I see McCoy's in the backfield there. I mean, we've got a whole slew of backs that we could go to here. It's going to be hard to throw against their secondary. I mean, you, they had three got picks guys back night. there that play awfully well. And, uh, yeah. you know, if we do throw, I think it's got to be short. Eye in the backfield, second and 17. Snap will come. They'll turn. Hand it off. It'll go back there. And good cut there by McCoy yeah, as he brings cut. it across. Picks up about eight yards as he gets it out. Kai Strother leading the charge yep. there, blocking out in front of him. So a good run there by McCoy as he picks up eight. Wow, on that is a down. great run, actually. I saw the – we're seeing on – we had to look at the far side to see right. where they're at. So Make that's third and seven Third now. and seven, very manageable here. At the 46-yard line. So you got to keep things going here. Good run by McCoy after that penalty. So they'll break the huddle, come to line. Titan Williams will split wide to the far side. And they'll go out of the shotgun this time, Will Kenton. Snap will come. He'll take it, turn, hand it off. Roberts, Man. he cuts off tackle, and he dove forward, I believe. Where's he got the spot? Enough. I think you got yeah, it. Yeah, I think he got it. This guy right here, Coach Burks, is telling us we got yeah, it. So. I think they got it. As Ethan kind of got tripped up, but he got it. I mean, enough. it's – oh, man, it's going to be just short. Oh, they're going to call oh, it. Good, all right. First down. So, eight-yard pick up there by Roberts as he dives forward the, for the, the man, first down. The man in the white hat says moving forward, so there we go. First down, so they'll move the chains. And they're on the southern side of the 50 at the 47-yard line is Roberts with an eight-yard pick up there on third down. I mean, a shoestring tackle there keeps him from going in the end zone. Well, he could have broke that, too, if he wouldn't have got tripped up. So, Kenton will go back under center, two guys wide to the far. Now they'll set Johnson in motion, turn, hand it off Roberts. Oh, man. He trucked number he 22. He put a shot on 22, 22 there. Cage Calloway. That's Cage Calloway, the freshman. Welcome to varsity football, yeah. Cage as he took a hit right there in the center of that uh, Lion defense and Roberts with a four-yard pick. Hey, up. if there's a guy who really wants this game probably more than oh, anybody, it's, it's be Ethan. Roberts. Ethan last year was our one-trick pony we had in that game. Yep. I mean, we had to run him I don't know how many times trying to, you know, because he was it really a lot offensively. Second down and six now. Titan will split far to the uh, far side. As uh, Kenton goes under center, snap will come. He turns, hands Roberts it off again. Roberts again. He keeps his feet moving good and pushes down inside the 40 to about the 38. Going to be close to another first down, but he's a couple yards yeah. short. So he picks up uh, about uh, three, about four yards on that carry. So four on both. Press comes in for Roberts second. there. He's grabbing his elbow a little bit. I think he's got a little hit there. He's. He's a guy who's not going to come out tonight. Whether he wants. Third He's down and a long two now for the Senators at the Salem 38-yard line. So they're trying to keep this drive going. Eight to nothing. Senators with 4.37 to go here in the first quarter. Kenton will go back under center. Eye in the backfield. Snap will come. He'll turn. And, Ooh, and they got hit. Crest got hit right away there by the Four progress has got him at the 40, excuse me, the 38. Yeah, big number 56, Parker Boulay in there to make that first hit. So we're going to be about a yard short, yard and a half short is what I'm going to say. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, excuse, excuse me. me. That's all right. Yeah. You sneeze. got the fever and only curious I the, football. I got the dust from all go. the uh, fields here. So fourth and one now. 
after a one-yard pickup there by uh, Hudson. Do you go sneak on this, Bubba, or you know tell Ken to go right or left? I or think do you Ken just give goes it to... off tackle like he did on yeah. the scoring. Or do you play. just give it to Roberts up the gut? Well, yeah, Roberts back in there. So fourth down and one eye in the backfield. They give it to Roberts. He pushes. He yeah. got it and more. As he dives forward, picks up about five. Only needed one. So Ethan with a big run there on fourth down. And that just keeps it going with 346 left here in the first quarter. Senators up 8-0 on Salem. So a first down moves it inside the 35 to the 34-yard line. The chains will move, and the Senators on the drive once again, 314 or 342 actually to go here in the first quarter, up 8 to nothing. First down and 10, Titan Williams will split wide to the far side, eye in the backfield. Roberts and McCoy. Kenton will go under center, takes it, pitches wide, goes to oh, and a flag comes in. Comes in, I would say. False start on us. Yeah, five yard penalty. Yeah, I think our whole left side jumped off there. So it'll be a five yard variety. That's all right. I do, I do like that play call of going to the pitch to McCoy. He's got enough uh, ability to adjust to kind of be our, you know, our east to west runner. Well, but, and and we've had success running here to the left of the offense. Um, it's or actually to the right the left of the defense. Uh, we've been getting a good push against uh, their D end on this side. So let's see what they can do now. First and 15 for the Senators here as they're back at the 39 yard line. Kenton will go under center to take this snap. Eye in the backfield. He looks, takes it, and the ball doesn't come. False start. Yeah. So they didn't get the snap. I'm no, not sure I never, what happened. No, I never. No, I don't. If the center didn't get it to him. I, I don't know if Kai thought maybe it was on two or what the problem was, but uh, two penalties there in a row. That's going to move it back even five more yards, so that'll take it back to about the 44, and it'll be first and 20 now. So two penalties in a row. Don't like to see that here at this position on the field because you're trying to keep this drive going here with 322 to go in the first quarter up eight to nothing. Yeah, the Senators are going to have to make some uh, quick adjustments here to try to get some. They got themselves on that last drive down a lot and came back, but you don't want to be playing this way the whole game. First and 20, eye in the backfield. Kenton under center, takes it, turns, hands it off. Roberts, he just pushes up the middle. Good run, keeps his feet moving, and he's able to yeah. get it all the way down that, to the 37. The, the only thing I don't like about that run is he wasted 10 yards yeah. that he could have had if we did our jobs and – not uh, get ourselves pushed back behind the sticks there. Pick up of about uh, seven on that carry for Roberts. So it'll be seven second and 13 now mm -hmm. for the Senators. Good thing about those penalties, they came on first down. Yeah, that is true. So, so you want to run and get some of it back, and you got to do the same thing here, I think, on second down. So we'll see what they do. They'll split. Uh, I'd say Chris. Let's look Chris with McCoy blocking on the left side here. Mason Cox wide to the far side. They'll take the snap. Nope. Kenton will Kenton keep, it. keep it. He's, He's going to go outside. He's, He's got, got one, guy. one guy to beat. Gets out there, oh, dodges a guy. May have a first down out of it. But he's pushed out of bounds just shy of the stick there at about the 27-yard line. So Kenton with about a 7-yard, or no, more than that, about 10-yard pickup. Yeah. It'll be third and three. Very manageable down there now yep. for the Senators. So a 10-yard run there by the quarterback for the Senators, Kenton Chase, as he's got one big long one tonight, the 75-yard touchdown to put us on the board first. Third down and three now. Uh, Senators in four down territory here at the 27 of Salem. Kenton will go under center once again, eye in the backfield. Snap will come, they'll turn. Austin or Ethan Roberts uh, will push forward. Maybe got a yard. He didn't get much. No, out he didn't at all. I kind of thought they might go with the pitch to McCoy on that one. Go outside and try to see what happens. So it'll bring up fourth and two here. So gut yep. check time for the Senators at the 27 of Salem, so that's where they'll set up. They need to get it inside the 25. Well, I think you go on the hard count. I think you yeah, go you on. I, I, I think I think you go on the hard count right now, and see what you can do, and see if anybody jumps. If not, call timeout and then regroup there. So Kent will go on fourth down. He'll come to the sideline, get the play. They'll yeah, they're gonna have to, to the hustle because they got about seven seconds play on the play down clock. To there. Six now. He'll go out of the gun here. Snap will come. Oh, oh it's there's a bad a snap. He has to fall on it, so they lose ground. And that'll turn it over on downs. Yep. Bad snap all the way back to the 38-yard uh, line. So it winds up being like a really um, – So a turnover yep. on downs. 
a lot of yards there you don't want to give up. That's a bad, bad thing to happen right there at that point of the field because you're driving and yep. had a manageable fourth down, but uh, the snap not good. And well, Salem will take over. That also gets yourself before you ever get on first down, yeah, you get yourself momentum. down two penalties. Yeah, you give them the momentum, they stop yeah. you on fourth down. So. so the center's defense got to come up I with look something for them big to here. take a shot here. I think they, so. I think you're spread everybody out yep. here, so we'll see Watch what Watch over here, Jackson, between Jackson and Grace and somebody. Maul take the snap. Nope, they'll hand it off to Bowling. He'll try to go wide. Nice tackle. Tackle by Grace Grayson McCoy. Grace McCoy comes across and makes that hit on Bowling. And he stops him there at about the line of scrimmage. Kind of one of those about the shotgun draws there, you know, that, you know, you hope that everybody bites. And then Grayson didn't. He stayed home and got his guy. So a loss of a yard on that carry by Bowling. And a good open field tackle there by McCoy. So that play really hadn't went very well. They'll, they'll run trips now to the far side over towards the Salem Watch sideline. a bubble over to that side with that. So Mole out of the gun, snap will come here. It does, he looks, he throws it out there in the flat. Hits his man, Shockey makes a grab. He runs it down, goes up and hurdles a guy, but he gets the first down as he picks up about uh, 14 yards on the reception. And Bubba, we set ourselves up there when they went to that that trips little formation there to the right. It sets that bubble up perfectly because we had a mismatch of two to three. Yeah. and so we were. They they, they knew what they were doing yep. there, and that moves it across the center. But he uh, still bobbled the ball when he had yeah, it, so it's about 50-yard line there at the 49 of West yeah. Washington. First and 10, Salem with 33 seconds to go here in the first. Mole out of the gun, snap Oh, how is that not an offside? And yeah. he looks, he's going to take Check, a shot. Get up, get up there, deep. Jackson, get up there, Jackson. Jackson. Cameron back there in coverage. Good job there on Stevenson. So that ball falls incomplete as they try to get it down the field to Stevenson, and it'll be second down and 10. So I, I kind of thought they might try to take a shot to open yeah. our defense up a little bit, and they did it right there. But Maul uh, well overthrown there to Stevenson. So second down and 10 at the 49 here, and the clock down to 24 seconds to go in this first quarter. Oh, this is a this is a drive you want to stop. You want to get them back on the other side of the 50 here. Shotgun formation, two receivers wide to the far, one to the near here as Maul will take the snap on second down. It'll come, they'll give it to Bowling. He'll go in the middle and pick up about four yards out to the 45 of West Washington. So Bowling with the dive play, and he picks up four. That'll probably and be the last play. That'll be the last play probably of this first quarter as the Senators shuffle some guys around. Third down and six now. you got to get a stop here on third down. And that's going to be it for the first quarter. So at the end of one here from Art Sanders Field, as we honor the late, great Art Sanders here tonight, the Senators lead it eight to nothing over the Salem Lions. We'll take a quick break and be back here on your home for Senator Sports, WWSR and West Washington live stream. After two years of study and research, the Washington County Community Foundation launched its first proactive initiative, Youth First, in 2007. Their goal was to create a positive environment within the county where youth are valued, their needs come first, and investments are made in their well-being. In 2011, Youth First merged with the YMCA to best serve youth through their common commitments to youth development, healthy living, and social responsibility. This merger allowed for further utilization of Youth First missions and the possibility to grow development assets in our community more initially. Okay, back here live at Art Sanders Field, the Lions with the football facing a third down and six here at the Senator 45-yard line. Senator defense trying to get off the field here once again as they've been able to shut them down pretty much so far. That one big play that they had on that little bubble pass out there to Shockey worked pretty well. So might look for that here again. They'll split two receivers wide to the far side, one to the near here as Mole will go out of the gun bowling behind him. Snap will come on third down. We need a big play as Maul will take it. He's going to throw it, gets it out here in the flat. Catch is made by Stevenson. That'll be good enough good for, a for first. a first down. Yep. And I really thought they were going to set that up to the left side there with a little hitch and go, but they come over to the near to the center sideline here and a little quick hit. About a seven-yard pickup yeah, on that possession reception. catch so there. First down for the Lions as they have it at the Senator 37-yard line. 
first and ten as they move the chains here. Coach Mills trying to kill something. A fly. We had a <laughs> we had a wasp. We've had all now, kinds. I've seen of, a wasp. A wasp and a wasp came over. <laughs> first and ten at the 37 of West Washington. Maul out of the gun. Snap will come. He'll turn, hand it off. It'll go to Bowling. Nope. Maul keeps it. Keeps it. He goes up the middle, and they faked out to the Roberts, Senators he, there. Yep. Good for a first down run as Maul takes it for about 12 yards on that carry. And that's assignment football there, Bubba, where you got to just keep your assignment no matter what. Yep. Know what you're doing. Don't sit there. I know a lot of the center defense probably sat there and thought Ethan had him wrapped up in yep. the backfield there. Another first down there for the Lions as they're deeper in Senator territory at the 25-yard line. And here's where you got gut check. Oh, yeah. The Lions stop. never start out games real well, I've noticed. No, they so don't. They, they're they, a little they, slow start. So that's where we have to make – Trips no. to the far side as they come out of the and huddle. We, first we, we haven't adjusted to that, Bubba, so that's going to leave us susceptible over there. Ball take the snap, looks. He's going to keep it himself. Come here to the near side. Gets a block a or two. He breaks yeah. one. Yeah, that's going to be a hole. down inside the five. It looks yeah, like it's going to be a hole. score, but there's a flag on yeah, the field. That's going to be – I believe that's on Salem. Yeah. That was a block back, in the back on yeah. 29, it looks like, is what the official was yeah, telling Bowling us. Bowling got a shot on our, uh, our D end on the far side here, and that one's going to come back as Maul kept it and scored and took it in from 25 yards out. But that flag in the backfield is going to kill Salem. So we see the penalties come into play. That hold going to go against the Lions, and that will be a spot foul. So it'll come back to 10 yards from there. It's going to make it first down and about 20 as they'll bring it all the way back to the 30, uh, about the 36 yard line or so. So first and 20. So now comes the adjustments on this defensive line. We, you know, Coach Akers always talks about how the game is won and lost with the line. Well, right now it's going to have to be that front defensive, that front four, yeah. making something happen because they've not gotten through like they should. First and 20 here, trips to the far side, and Mole will go out of the gun once again. Snap will come. He looks and wants to throw it. He throw brings the it flats. out there in the flat. Oh, oh what a hit by Roberts, man. He read that all the way. And Ethan comes across as Bowling makes a grab. And what a hit there as he nails him in he the He knocked him all the way to K&E. Yeah, he, he's back about uh, the other side of Camelsburg. Wow, there, they, so. they actually got a pretty good spot on the, on the tackle because I thought he was about where the center Sam Hat started when he hit him. So a loss of about uh, seven. Don't rest on your morals here, Bubba. Don't rest on them. They're going to come through. It's first and little yep. twirl right now. Yep. Second and little twirl as the Lions back at the 43-yard line of West Washington. Shotgun Watch Braxton formation. Dean over here. He hasn't came over all night. Right over here. Watch him Snap on the post route. come here on, fir or on second down. They'll fake it. Oh, now. inside. Shovel pass right in the middle as they go in there to Shockey. And he takes it. Was that Shockey or was that, that number 35, five? That five. That was five, five. Uh, Lorman on the carry so Lorman picks up a uh, pretty decent yardage I mean he picks up about uh, what they 10 lost yards yeah. back down to the 30 yard line so now a huge play there that's those interior guys you got to stay down you know still third and about 15 now so you got to you know they're in four down territory here I'm sure yeah at 942 to go in this first half Senators eight Salem nothing but uh, the Lions driving here trying to keep this drive alive as they scored and had it uh, called back on a penalty. So we'll see what they do. Trips again to that far side. They like that formation. As the snap will come from Maul, he'll drop back, wants to throw, goes out in the flat. Right there! Grayson McCoy. McCoy. McCoy, he read, he read that it. all the way. And McCoy with the INT. You know, Bubba, you can read a guy's eyes oh, from yeah. about, you know, I don't know how many yards that is away from me, but I could see Grayson's eyes. He read they were it the locked whole in. Way. I don't know if Coach uh, – uh, Fakers can get us a replay on that one, but that was a great pick yeah, right there. Yeah, he picked. I mean, he Grayson played that perfectly. He waited and then come up. He saw the ball in the air, come up, picks it off. So the first turnover of the night goes to the Senators, and they'll take over first and 10 at their own 33-yard line. Nine, 19 left here. Senators going to do a little ground and pound probably. Yeah, we need to uh, move this football. Kenton will go under center on first down. Snap will come. He'll turn, hand it off. And it's right up the middle. Good run as he takes it off tackle. That was uh, Wyatt Johnson. Johnson, first time we called his name, I think, running the ball tonight. So he's been used kind of sparingly, more more so as a blocker, using that you know his strong frame he has. So they started that one at about the 33-yard uh, line, and number 11 with a pickup there on first down. 
of about uh, six yards. So second down and four now for the Senators. Kenton will go under center, eye in the backfield. Snap will come. He'll turn, rolls out. He's got pressure. Gets away from it, though. Cuts it back up. He's got one guy to beat. Gets to the outside. Got a first, first down, down. Yeah. as he brings it across the 45. So he made something out of that. Bubba, Bubba, we were this close to being offsides, and they were this close to being encroachment. Yep. And both of it worked to the advantage of the Senators because they were in the backfield. But Ken cuts it off the back shoulder of his blocker and gets a little bit of daylight. Yeah, they're bringing the house. I mean, they, they've been uh, all over it all night trying to. Uh, now, you don't, want, you don't want me to tell this, but. When they're bringing it like that, do you try that little pop pass? Pop sometime? over the middle. Then, I like that little pop pass, but yeah. you know, do we have time yeah. to throw it? No, yeah, you that's, know, the, under that's center, the truth. It's hard. Yes. Kenton will go with a new set of downs, first and ten. Snap will come. He'll fake it, rolls out, wants to throw. He's got some time now. He finds uh, Johnston. Johnston. He makes a grab, breaks a tackle, and made something out of it. He caught it right at the line of scrimmage, but takes it up wow. to the 50. <laughs> So a gain of four on that one. Nice little yards after catch there. As Kenton gets it out to him there on the pass, and Johnston picks up four yards. So it'll be second down and six right at the 50-yard line. So we're going to have Johnston and Roberts there in the backfield. I thought Crest was coming in. Maybe Crest was in there as a – He was in there okay. that time, yeah. Second down and six at the midfield marker. 8.08 to go in the first half. Senators eight. Salem nothing here in this first half of play. So the 50-yard line is where they'll spot it. It'll be second down and six. The Senators will break the huddle. Kenton will go under center once again, eye in the backfield. Snap will come. He turns, hands it off, Ethan Roberts, and he'll bring it off the left-hand side, gets mm. hit after he takes it down to about the 47 of Salem. So a pickup of a couple hard yards there by Ethan. I think we're going to see – Ethan's really – just went through and bruised up that middle. Yep, third down I, and four. I, I think we're going to see Grayson or Wyatt come in and get one of those just a little off tackle that's going to take it to the house sometime tonight because those holes are there. Or maybe Kenton again yep. with his legs. So third down and four, big third down play here. Kenton will go under center, takes a snap, turns, pitches wide. He'll go to Roberts. He'll try to cut the corner, and he does. He and got up he field. Fell forward to get wow. enough. Everybody was telling him to get up field there, and I think he might have yeah, finally. I think he did. I think he finally, his second effort got him yeah. the first down. So we'll see here. You know, he's, He needed four and got about five on that uh, carry. So Ethan with the first wow. down run. Gain of five, so first and ten Senators in Salem territory. And that's, you know, he got hit pretty good in the gut and held onto the ball yep. and kept driving, which 43. is – 43. Yeah. So, pretty good run. He made something out of nothing there as he got hit about the line of scrimmage and just kept his wheels turning, got the necessary yardage. Bubba, look for us to go to the right side here, Ken, I think. A long set back in the backfield now, so we just go with one. Kenton goes under center. Titan Williams wide. Kenton will keep it. He cuts back up off tackle, gets mm. hit. And he's going to go down. Yeah, we got all kinds of flags. Yeah, and flags going everywhere. May have been a hold on us there. I think so. I think we're going to get it. So we're going to be from about the original line of scrimmage there. So that'll put us back on the other side of the 50 where we don't want to be with 659 here. And we got a lot of talking, it looks like, there. See what's going on. Okay. Yep. So it will be a holding penalty against yep. the Senators here. And that'll take it back right from the line of scrimmage. So is where the flag fell. So. Yeah, so we went with that under center with the one back and then Kidden take it to the right because I said that's what it kind of looked like we were setting up there. But it just like it never really got going for him. And it may have been why the hold there, maybe somebody didn't pick somebody up. So usually if you don't pick somebody up, you're holding them. Yeah, I'll be first and 20 now back in Senator territory at the 47 of West Washington. So the Senators with uh, 654 to go in the first half trying to keep things going here yep. offensively. They'll break the huddle. Titan Williams will line up wide to the far side along with Grayson McCoy. And they'll set up here. Kenton will go under center to take the snap. He does. Turns, hands it off. Just a straight dive in the middle. I believe that's Crest. Crest just chugs. And chugging. Hudson just chugs forward, gets a lot of that back. That's a good play to yep. start off gets that. Gets about eight yards of that. Gets you on the right side lost. of the 50 you yep. want to be in. So Hudson with a good run of eight yards. It'll bring up second down and 12 now as he takes it back to the Salem 45. And that's what you need to do on that first and long, just pick up some of that that you lost on the penalty. So second down and 12 now. Hudson will line up behind. Now they go to an eye formation as Kenton goes under center once again. 
Snap will come. They'll turn, hand it off. Johnston. That's Johnston. He's got running room, takes it off tackle. We got a flag down right here and in the very back. Flag. Yep. And it looks like somebody cut somebody a little low there, Bubba, after what it looked like. So that's going to move us back another 10 yards from that spot. So. Yeah, and that's a shame because he got, got a first a great, down run yeah. out of it. So. And it's going to go against West Washington as they'll move it backwards. It's Kai Struthers they called trying. Kai for it, but yeah. I didn't think. I thought he had a hold of the side. Yeah, that's what the and that's what the yeah. official was arguing with him is like his hands was on was on his uh, shoulder pads there, and it was like. So that'll move it back across the 50 again. We're just going back and forth here. Yeah. I'm getting dizzy. And move yeah. it back to the 47 of West Washington, and we'll have second down. And Time out by Salem there. 20 again here, so 5.59 to go here in the first half. Senators 8, Salem nothing. We'll come back here on your home for Senator Sports, West Washington live stream and WWSR. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849. Two six seven zero. All right, back here live. Five fifty nine to go here in this first half of play. Senators with another hold, so it takes them back to their own forty seven. Second down and twenty now for West Washington. We'll split two guys wide to the far side as they'll set up here out of the gun. Kenton will take a turn, hand it off to Roberts. He'll try to cut the corner. He does. Breaks a tackle or two and takes it uh, for about a five or six, six yard, yard pickup as he crosses the 50 into Southern Territory at the 48 yard line. So a gain there uh, by Roberts of about five yards. It'll bring up a third down and 15 here. So 534 to go in the first half, up eight to nothing. And big third down looming. You yeah, know, you want to get on what you do yeah, here. You want to get some yards and trust your defense, but you got to keep going, guys. We go three we'll to go the right. Trips to the far side. Oh, we're off sides. Oh, we we're off sides. Hudson Crest just jumps off yeah. sides. So the penalties really starting to rack up here at the worst times against us. We've had three on this drive, and all of them been big ones. That's just a false start. That'll move them back five more yards back across the fifty again. So it'll come back to the Senator forty-seven. <laughs> Seems like we've been there a lot as we just can't get off that 47-yard line. Third and 20 now for the uh, Senators here. I appreciate them playing right in front of us here, yeah. Bubba, but, you know, we want them to move. Right, move it down the field. So trips formation to the far side here as uh, Salem giving them quite a bit of cushion. Snap will come. They'll turn, hand it off. Roberts will take it and gets it back up to the 50. So a gain of about three yards on that one. And it's going to be a fourth down. And about uh, 17. So I'm sure we'll try to punt it and pin them deep as Kenton will drop back to punt this ball away. They'll drop Bowman back there deep. He's dangerous. Yep, you you got to watch him. I like to see. I like to see Ken just punt it out of bounds here. Yeah, get I'd it like across. To see him get it down to go over his head or something. But yep. we'll see here right at the 50 yard lines where they'll snap it. Kenton stands at about his own 40. Snap comes. It's a good one. No pressure. He'll get it away. Kind of a line drive kick. Oh, how's that not a hold bounce. there? Wow. And Touch it down right there. Nice bounce. There's another one right there. Yeah, yeah they got him. 27. Wow. Just put a shot on one of our guys in the back. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So that's uh, going to take it. Unfortunately, it's going to be on like the two, so that's going to take it to the one. Yeah, Zane Polly with yeah. that uh, block in the back is going to yeah. take it down half the distance. So. When the ball is on the ground like that, yeah, where you, you know it's like a, you stay away from it, and that's just, you know, you stay in case if somebody tries to be a hero and pick something up, but that's going to back them up to like the half yard line or something, isn't it, Bubba? Because yeah, no, the, half the distance. Half the distance. So it goes so. back inside the five to about the four. It was all, it was down, spotted. it was, yeah, it was downed at the, yeah, so it's going to be, let's see where it's at. Yeah, right at about the three-yard line. So, man, I tell you what, if the centers could come up big here and get to that center that's, uh, you know, had to, they talked about having auditions this week over at uh, 
the yeah, Salem field. Hey. Yeah, something here. This is this is where you want to. But you also look for them to take a shot here. I think too. so too. They'll line up two receivers here. So the chain near. guys finally get down there. They've and been one to the far side. Moving a little too set up. For them. First and ten at their own three for the Lions. Maul stand in his end zone to take this snap. Got to get some pressure here. Snap will come on first down. He's going on the hard count. Yep. There's and the snap. the snap comes. It'll he turns, be. hands it off, bowling the ball carrier, and he gets he, it out to about the five. Well, no, really not much of a gain there. About no. the four, maybe got a yard. I'd say two here, Bubba, something to look for. You know, they ran that veer to the quarterback earlier where he kept it. And yeah, got, you got to watch got, Maul here a little Maul, bit. He, I mean, he's – I'd say right there you, you, you respect that. So, if you're that middle linebacker, you know, you stay there and go. Well, this would be big if we could make them punt down here because yeah. – Putting out of your own end zone is not. And the centers get the ball back to start the second half. So yeah. this is where you're you're thinking in your head. You don't you don't do a before you know. Just B, play but, sound defense yeah. here. Second down and nine. They'll split a guy out here wide to the near side. We switch on there. And Roberts goes to the short side of the field. Snap will come. They'll turn, hand it off, bowling the ball carrier. He gets cut down pretty quick. Yep. He got across the five out to about the six or seven. All right, now Bubba, I think they go about I, three on that. I carry. think they go to that bubble screen here on this play. Give him four as he brings it out across it, the five to about the seven. That's yard. about what they need, that bubble screen they've had, that formation. Well, hopefully Grayson McCoy can pick another yeah. one off down yeah. there. He might score. 347 to go here in the first half. Senators eight, Lions nothing. I still don't like this wide side of the field over here, though. I think it's just they're going to try to do something right over here. Hudson hopefully can hold court and keep it down. Okay, they'll line up here. Third down and about five for the Lions. Ball out of the gun, snap will come. He'll fake it, keeps it himself. Cuts back up the middle, gets hit. Got close to the first down, but I believe he's a little short, about a yard. Looks like he got about four out to about the uh, 11 now, yard fourth and one, line. So does, fourth and do one. the Lions have the – they're going for it. They're keeping the quarterback on the field. They are going for it. Oh, they man, are going for it. See with 3.05 to go. They are going to go stop. for it, so – they may try a hard count. Too. My hard count, everybody stay put, but you also you you go you watch for that ball. You just everybody yeah. looks at the ball. They can't do anything until that ball moves. Fourth and short here. Huge for the play. Lions. Huge they'll, play. They'll split two guys here to the near side, one to the far, mole out of the gun. Man, that, Playcock ran Playcock. Out. Yep. Sure did. Yep. That's a flag. That's against they nope, took they a timeout. A timeout. So they give it to him. Wow. Right there, fourth and one on about the 11 yard line. So, timeout with 2.40 to go here in the first half. Senators eight, Lions nothing. We'll take a quick break and come back here with the rest of the first half on WWSR and West Washington Live Street. is a Bedford based business with a wide variety of insurances that are suited to the customer's needs. There is currently a discount driving program that can help you save money on auto insurance premiums. Contact us at 812 578 3072 or email us at mlong at amfam.com American Family Insurance big enough to serve, small enough to care Alright, back here live Art Sanders Field, West Washington 8, Salem nothing here as we wind down the first half 340 to go, what a ball game it's That's been great. That's great. Salem will line up in punt formation here uh, on you said four, but you, you gotta watch them yeah. Here in this game, you never We got know. your quarterback, Milk Mules, the personal protector. I don't know if yep. he's been out there as the personal protector before. He's usually not, so that's, so that, kind that's of another an indication. You know, indication. You got all kinds of craziness could happen. Snap here. comes. It's a good one. Bowman's going to punt it. He all right, just let off. him punt it. Let Line him punt. drive kick on a bounce and take a Salem roll. Yep. It'll roll all the way past the 50 down to about yep. the 46 yard line. So, so good centers, punt. centers get to do a little two minute drill here with 231 left, leading 8 0. They're going to get the ball on their own on the uh, their own 46 yard line. So the Lions have to punt, and West Washington takes over at their own. 46 for this drive with uh, 229 to go in this first half. So trying to get a little more, it'd be good to tack on a score. You're going to get the ball, though. Yeah, right now you just don't want to try anything crazy. No. You don't need a turnover no. or anything here. So it, It's not broke. Don't fix yeah. it. 
We need a big uh, Kent Chaser and Ethan Roberts run here. Yeah, and that's that that defensive line's got to be getting tired for Salem. Oh yeah, they've been just... out there a lot. Eye in the backfield. Kenton will go under center, takes it, turns, fakes a handoff, keeps it himself, goes off tackle, bounces past one guy, lost the ball, but we got back. And on he said it, he was down. The, down. Yeah, the back judge said he was down. The side judge said he was down. Gain of about uh, four yards on that. Well, they're gonna yeah, right at four yards for Kenton. So it'll be right at the 50-yard line. Second down and six now for the Senators. 2:06 to go in this first half. And thankfully, we don't hear the whistles on the field. And yeah. That's what I wonder why why it wasn't going for it, but the whistle already been blown. Eye in the backfield. He'll go under center, takes it, turns, hands it off again. This time, uh, Crest the ball carrier. Or no, that was Johnston who picks it up. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. that's right there is going to get something. That's got to be a flag. Yeah, number they three there. 56 in the yeah, ground. That's Harley Shockey. Shockey. He's had a bunch of them this year. So he's got – that's uh, going to be a personal foul. That's going to be a personal foul. So, yeah, I mean, rap, two rabbit punches there and, you know. Gain of three there on the carry by Johnston. And Ga Gavin's known – Gavin is somebody who blocks down the field. He is a guy you do not expect – you look at him, he's probably 150 pounds soaking wet. And he just – you watch Gavin when he blocks. He blocks till the end of the play. He does a great job of it. So, let's see what we have see here. what they call here. Personal foul. Personal foul, Salem. Yeah. And so, that will be there. And it's going to be a first down, yeah. Yep, first down. So you wonder – and that's what you know. And you don't want anybody in. You know, out of frustration, frustrations happen. But just like I've always said, you know, this game's about 10% of what happens to you, the other 90% is how you react to it. And that's so, a huge play. They just mark off five, though, from the spot, actually, wow. because oh, okay. they, they – I don't know what they called there. 148, but, clock is running there. I don't know. Okay, we're up on it, so. So, we'll get a first down out of it, first and 10 there. Watch Hudson here just going the off Salem tackle. 32-yard line, snap out of the shotgun this time. It'll come to Kent, and he'll keep it. He breaks the tackle, gets to the outside, still got his legs. Going to run into a defender out there inside the 30 at about the 27 is where they spot it. So 123 Kent left here in the first half. With a gain of about three, so it's going to be second down and about seven for the Senators inside the 30 at the 27. And the clock is running here. Senators are just trying to run their offense, trying to get close here. This is when it does suck not having a, a field goal kicker. Yeah. You know, Titan which, Williams will split wide here to the near side. I'll tell you what, we might take Kent a shot here. Under center. Snap will come. He'll turn, hand it off. They just go straight ahead to yep. Johnston, and he dives off the left-hand side inside the Time 25 to the 24. So a gain of about three yards there by uh, Wyatt, and that will bring up a third down and about three. We'll time out West Washington with 49 seconds to go here in the first half. Senators lead 8 to nothing over the Salem Lions. United Producers, Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Bat at 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. All right, back here live, Art Sanders Field, Senators 8, Salem nothing here in the first half with 49, 51 seconds. Yeah, there was, there was some scoreboard issues the there clock. between the clocks. So. so it'll be a third down and about three, four West Washington here at the Salem 24-yard uh, line. So Senators trying to keep this going, uh, try to get some more points on the board. Yeah, trying to get something half. positive here, just keep moving the ball forward. High in the backfield, Ethan Roberts. I'm going to call it number, 20, number 25 up the gut here, Bubba. Snap will come here by Kenton. He'll take it, turn, hand it off. It goes to Roberts. He pushes, pushes, and gets down there close to the first down. We'll no, see. No, no extracurriculars. And a no extracurriculars. Bit more coming in here. No extracurriculars. As the clock is moving here, so. Yep. You got to get up. Now we got a flag ready. thrown. We got a flag thrown on the far sideline here. We got a flag thrown on the oh, far sideline. On their coach there? I think so. I think it went on the coaching staff over there. On sideline the warning, maybe. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So, so he takes it down to about the 22-yard uh, line, does Roberts. So he was so giving a gain an, of about two on the carry. As that side but, judge did not want to hear it anymore as he was going. There was some plays. 
sideline morning against, against the Salem. Mons. So that's a five yarder first down. First so down. Yep. And he's going to call a timeout. It looks like he wants a timeout. So the Lions will take a timeout as they come around. That's a 10 yard penalty. And they move it down inside the 15 to about the 12. So. And they've got right well, here. The problem was he was way out on the field. Yeah, I think so. And he actually is now giving it to the uh, head official. You can't, you can't step out there on the field uh, when they're getting ready to snap the ball. And he was out there. So, you know, that's that's a mistake on their part. The ball all the way down to the 11-yard line. So first and goal from the 11 – or first and 10 from the 11. Still can get a first down here just on this side of the 10-yard line. Yeah, a lot of chippiness when you play a rival, when you have a, a big game, you know, and a lot of emotions there, and you don't want you, you don't want the yellow flags to determine how it goes. You want to you want to no, get them. definitely not first down though for the center. Thirty six point eight left here, Bubba. Center's lead eight nothing. Eleven. So they are trying to squeak one in here. This and would they, be huge if you huge. Could get some points they, on they the got they got they got two they got two timeouts to use. So yep. I'd say thirty six seconds on the clock. And they'll go in the I formation. New Man, set I tell downs. you, I tell you, Grayson over here. If, if White can get this block on the edge, I think Grayson's got it. He'll take the snap, turn. Oh, he's going to walk in. He breaks it. He's going to score. Touchdown, Ethan Roberts. And Roberts scores from 11 yards out for the TD, and that's a that's a backbreaker. That is. You know that hurts because West Washington will get the ball coming out of the uh, half here. And he kept that run going. There was times, just like on that two point conversion he had, he's limping a little bit there. Uh, he's coming off. He's a workhorse. I don't think Coach Lowry's going to, you know, score like that. You don't feel pain on. Nope. So third, or, uh, 14 to nothing here as yep. Roberts takes it in from 11 yards out for the second score of the night. And they'll line up to go for two. Well, I'm glad Salem's defense thought what I was thinking. Yeah. They, I was like, okay, McCoy's over I there. I think they it's did. They, just, they, they know, did not respect the lane. middle. No. And, and Roberts took it in. We'll go for two. Eye in the backfield, snap will come. He'll pitch it wide. It'll go to Chris. He'll cut back yeah, up the we middle. Got a penalty got on penalties us. Everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. And that's going to be no good anyway. Yep. So I'm sure they'll uh, decline that. Decline that. So as four or five guys go down, there was chop blocks everywhere. So Chris' run is no good, and it'll be 14 to nothing here with 31 Third. seconds. But so you got to be careful. You have to. You have to be careful. That penalty's declined. Don't want to kick it deep to one of those no. guys because no i mean i think you almost kick it out of bounds bubba i mean i'll well, be honest with you with yeah is where he goes no yeah clock. yeah and also uh they'll get the ball at the 35 so i don't know i keep it on the ground here squib, squib it, it and let it you know let it roll around to make make it difficult for them to pick up get somebody down the sideline get your gunners down there make the hit and stop and make them uh, come back out and try something crazy so we'll see what they do here as the Senators score again on an Ethan Roberts 11-yard run to lead it 14 to nothing. Coming up at halftime, we've got the Salem Card Show scoreboard, and we got Commissioner's Corner uh, this week talking about a lot of stuff going on, volleyball, yeah. volleyball, volleyball sectionals, football sectionals, football volleyball sectionals, sectionals, all kinds of stuff going on. All it's been kinds a, of sectionals. Even though it's fall break, as when I was athletic director, <laughs> athletics never stopped. It doesn't stop. So the Senators will come out to kick it off. Jack Armstrong, the freshman. We'll kick it for West Washington. Is they're going to, you know, Jack has done a great job. He's, as long as he plants that. Yeah, I just that, hope he doesn't uh, kick it up in the air yeah. too much here. Yeah, keep it on the ground. Make it hard to pick up. Yeah, hit hit a, he hits it as well as he's got, you know, the strong legs there. He can put a ball where he wants it. So they'll line up here. And Bowman and Stevenson back deep for the Lions. But it's all Jack about coverage right here. It's it. all about coverage. And they'll approach it. Gets it off. It's a squib kick. Going to go to the far side and be fielded. Okay. Up there at about the 44-yard line. So, seven falls on it there. And it'll be first and 10 Lions. I think I think Jack would have liked that to go about under 10 yards on the ground there. But it was good enough. Guy fell right on it. At their own 44 is where they'll get it. Whoops. And that's something you, I mean, you practice, you know, it's not an onside kick. It's, it's a safety squeeze. <laughs> yes. You're just trying to, just trying to put on the ground here. Okay. So trips, you got to watch them here. Get trips, defense trips to the there. right here. We don't want to give gonna anything. Take a shot. Yep. Here it comes. Small back there in the shot. Zach Stice, the safety is going to be in coach. Out. Lowry West sees West. it. He's going to get his time out there. Yeah. They've like, we've give them the one receiver, plenty of room yes. out here. We only got two guys out here in coverage. So it's almost like we're taunting them to throw it out here. But, 
you know, with Stevenson and Bowman, I, I don't know that I try that too much because those two guys are game makers. They can they can score real quick, and I think you cover those guys up, put some pressure on them, make Maul throw a good ball, which he can. He can, and you're hoping that you can uh, t have him telegraph a pass enough that you can do that. However, he's not going to be telegraphing a ball here too much. There's got a lot of air on it, so. And that could be a decoy too. Yep, they, they may very... try to go up the gut. You know, Maul's ran the ball pretty yep. well. We seen him score, and, and then it got called back. Yeah, but... and they've also went to bowling quite a bit. You know, on his yep. on his uh, his record going up the middle. You know, the side. So that's where your defensive line protects protects. What the defensive line also has to be aware of is see if they get a free release on something. Yes. So if they get that free release off the line, then it's going to be dunked under them or over them, and you don't want that. So first and 10 for the Lions at their own 43-yard line as the Senator will set their uh, defense here. Trips here to the near side, and all out of the shotgun. He'll line up there, just uh, 31 seconds on the clock. Snap will come, it does. He drops back, wants to throw, got some time, goes across the middle. Stevenson right there makes a grab and gets hit and goes yep. down after a gain of about uh, 12 yards into Senator territory. After the set, the clock's gonna be running after they set, so. So it is first running down, and the ball at the Senator 43. A little mismanagement there by the Lions. There, but you can't break. Yep, right here. So Got to right stop them here. They'll go trips again. Trips. Here. They're not even set, Bubba. They're not even set. Now they are. As the snap will come. Ball oh, how was that not a false start? Drops there. back, looks to throw. He's going to bomb one. He's got a guy down there deep. Ball down there, and it's knocked down at the last second. second. They try to get it to Bowman. Yep, as Macy Cox and seconds. Zach Stice coming up with a great play there. Knocking the ball down. So Maul tries to go to Bowman, incomplete. 2.5 left here, Bubba. Do you One go? One more shot. Who do, you, who, do you, who do you go to if you're them? Do you? Well, I almost fake them, and I try to run it here, I think, because if you throw it and we pick it off, you know, you got a chance to return it. Yep. So we'll see what happens here. We got our prevent defense. <laughs> yeah. Got I was looking three to see. guys back here at the 10. I was looking line. to see if even like Kitten Chase was out there right now. I don't know if he's. Yes, he is, yeah, isn't he? He's, he's out, out there. there. It's safety. You put the fastest guy. Ball get off the field there. Here we go. So they'll line up here, uh, trips formation here to the near side. You can have a 42-yard play, just not a 43. Snap comes to ball. They were off sides, no call, but no he'll call. roll out, looks to throw. He's going to chuck got it deep. pressure coming. He's going to bomb it deep. we got a guy there. Picks it off. off. That's Mason Cox. Mason Cox. He's got a full head of steam. He could cut it. Oh, oh the last tackle. second. And Cox with the interception. Interception, and the Senators are running straight to the locker room. They are going to do that, and Coach Lowry's the first guy in there. So they'll uh, go to the half here after the interception two thrown by Maul here in this first half as the Lions uh, down 14 to nothing here to the Senators. We're going to take an extended break, get some scores on the Southern Sports Cards uh, scoreboard, and we'll come back here with the commissioner's report as well. So you're listening to Senator Sports here on your home of Senator Athletics, WWSR and West Washington live stream. After two years of study and research, the Washington County Community Foundation launched its first proactive initiative, Youth First, in 2007. Their goal was to create a positive environment within the county where youth are valued, their needs come first, and investments are made in their well-being. In 2011, Youth First merged with the YMCA to best serve youth through their common commitments to youth development, healthy living, and social responsibility. This merger allowed for further utilization of Youth First missions and the possibility to grow development assets in our community more initially. Here at WWSR, we have all the hits from the 80s to today. We're also rocking out with some of the classics. There are also exclusive interviews with some of the West Washington's head coaches during their seasons, breaking down the best of the upcoming matchups. And there's more programming to come, so stay tuned with WWSR being available on the school website, Alexa, or your favorite device. And for those interested, sponsorship slots are available. You're at American Family Insurance, located in Bedford, Indiana. We help our customers all over the state of Indiana by having customizable insurance policies to fit their needs. Whether it is insurance for your car, home, or business, we've got you covered. With licenses in Ohio and Florida as well, we can insure your vacation or rental home. You can also sign up for our discount driving program called Know Your Drive and save up to 10% 
with the potential to save up to 20% off auto insurance premiums. And let's not forget about your life, as life insurance is the most important policy we offer. Contact Michael Long at mlong at amfam.com or call 812-578-3072. Again, that's 812-578-3072. Michael Long Agency with American Family Insurance. Big enough to serve, small enough to care. United Producers, Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Batt at 812-620-0769. Again, that is 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. Links Clothing and Shoes is proud to support West Washington Senator football and wish them a great season. Stop by and see us for all your school fan gear. We offer a wide variety of tees, hoodies, hats, and more. We also offer custom screen printing and embroidery for your team, business, or event. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and have been serving our community for over 15 years. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and on Saturdays, they're 9 to 3. Stop in or call us at 812-883-4154. That's 812-883-4154. Shop local and save. At Eddie Gilstrap, our customers are family. Rated in the top 6% nationwide in Ford dealers, we pride ourselves on our no-pressure environment, honesty, and integrity. Come see us today and discover why we're different. Eddie Gilstrap Motors. Lynx Clothing and Shoes is proud to support West Washington Senator football and wish them a great season. Stop by and see us for all your school fan gear. We offer a wide variety of tees, hoodies, hats, and more. We also offer custom screen printing and embroidery for your team, business, or event. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and have been serving our community for over 15 years. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and on Saturdays, they're 9 to 3. Stop in or call us at 812-883-4154. That's 812-883-4154. Shop local and save. It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Neidig. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Bob Lovell, and this is our weekly conversation with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. And uh, Commissioner, appreciate your time. Recently announced the IHSAA will be re- relocating your cross-country semi-state rather than run at Huntington University. You'll be uh, running it still uh, in that particular part of the state, but you'll be at, Mary- at Indiana Wesleyan University in Marion. And uh, understand, people, it's a well-documented uh, situation. Huntington University coach and a wife, um, improprieties in terms of uh, contact with student athletes and questions about uh, uh, possible uh, performance enhancement drugs and things. And so uh, it's not a very pleasant situation for anyone, but I applaud you and the IHSAA for stepping in quickly and making a decision. Thanks, Coach. And we don't ever uh, like to do or these decisions are not things that are, we take lightly. There's a lot of uh, thought that goes into these types of situations, and then fortunately they don't happen very often. But 
you know, at, at the end of the day for us, Coach, we just felt our kids have one opportunity. Some some of our right. kids have one opportunity to run in a semi-state meet in their life. Um, and we just felt the potential for a distraction um, around the, the – the stuff that's going on with the university and their cross country program could affect the event, and we did not want to uh, have anything affect the experience for our student athletes. And so we just felt it was best to move it. We we know Huntington's working hard to, to to investigate everything that's going on, and and I'm sure they will return at some point, and we hope to be back there in the future and run. But right now, we just felt it was best for our kids to 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 go to the Indiana Westling course, which is a phenomenal course, and um, they're ready and willing to host us there. Well, you, this brings about a very busy weekend, too. You have, uh, I mean, I'm not exactly sure where to start. Unified flag football, the championship between DeKalb and Brownsburg at Grand Park. Uh, you have volleyball sectional, soccer regionals, team championship in tennis. Um, week, uh, the last week of the regular season of uh, football. So, uh, as we've talked about, it's a special, special time for a lot of our kids in the state because it's championship time right now. It is, Coach, and that you know, and that's what we do. I mean, we certainly, right. as we always, we celebrate the classroom, but we do also hand out some hardware occasionally throughout the state this year, and and we're going to start handing out some more of that hardware this weekend. And you know, our unified, and you know, Coach, our, our unified program is just something that we're so proud of. Partnership with uh, Special Olympics Indiana and and developing the champions together for students with intellectual or right. physical disability to be a member of the high school team that we're where they go to school that's just a phenomenal experience for kids and we're going to give out the the award between our state champion between DeKalb and Brownsburg and we're also going to give out the Bobby Cox Mental Attitude Award <laughs> that day and so that's mm -hmm. uh, going to be a, a great day but yeah I mean we're rolling we've got multiple things going on this weekend the soccer sectional championships are all over the state on Saturday and we're marching towards a volleyball state tournament coming up in a couple of weeks and it's event time, but you know, right now I'm looking at a calendar here, and guess what starts here in the next couple of weeks, and even some next week. Our winter sports uh, teams start practice. Winter so right, that's right exactly. around the quarter for us. <laughs> well, uh, I, I appreciate Paul Kinder and I appreciate your hospitality. Um, love the new studio. Thank you for having us for the pairing show. It's a special night. Uh, we're honored to be a part of it, but it's uh, it's so much fun, and everybody's in, engaged and involved and. In invested in that particular night it, it's an investment of time you know and i think that's what makes it special coaches invest time in kids and kids invest time at school and in the classroom and you guys invest time to do the show and i will tell you coach uh, we set a record this week we had fifteen thousand unique viewers on the ihsa champion <laughs> network <laughs> ihsa tv uh watching uh you and wow. andre the show so yeah fifteen thousand unique viewers Thanks for listening to The Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Neidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community.
All right, back here live at the half. West Washington up on top, 14 to nothing over the Salem Lions here as the Senators able to get two scores in that first half. Very first play from scrimmage, West Washington's Kenton Chase took it 75 yards for the touchdown. Ethan Roberts added the two-point conversion run. And uh, early in the first half, Senators on top as they kicked off to Salem to start the game. And then late in the second quarter, so we got a we got one score early, one score late in the second quarter with 31 seconds left. Roberts punches it in from 11 yards out. The two-point run by Crest was no good. And that's our score here at the half, 14 to nothing. Salem will have to kick off to West Washington. And I can tell you right now, I would have my hands guys up front because you know they're going to want this ball back here to start this uh, second half of play as uh, Coach Mills worked on our scores here. We're going to turn it over to him. I'm going to try to get some stats together for you. So here's Coach Mills. A couple announcements. Also, a reminder, if you're listening to this, the Ball Festival Trunk or Treat, Bubba, is next Saturday here at the high school track from 4 to 5.30. We've got lots of free games for kids. Of course, some great treats. So open up. Come on out. It's one of my favorite events I get to run every year. And speaking of events I get to run, the Salem Card Show returns for the last time this year on October the 30th. Oh, it's 29th, sorry. <laughs> Don't come on the 30th. I won't be there. 29th at the Washington County Fairgrounds there. We'll be, uh, we have over 50 tables of sports cards, sports memorabilia, everything from vintage sports cards to Pokemon to modern cards. Come on out. That's the Washington County Fairgrounds from 9 to 2 on the 29th there. Okay, a couple scores. The first one's a shocker to me at the half. Scottsburg 16, Brownstown 7. Oh, wow. I know that Scottsburg has probably never beaten Brownstown in their history. Maybe when they had football the first time, I don't know. Jeffersonville up 21 to 14 on Jennings County. Uh, Westell losing a lot to North Decatur right now, 0 to 44. North Davies down 0 to 21 to Springs Valley. Uh, North Knox leading Paley 7 to 6. Silver Creek up on Cordon Central 27 to 14. And then um, as we go in talking about the sectional draw, our opponent next week, Eastern Green, is down to North Central 20 to 14 right now. And uh, in the other bracket there, Providence. Uh, is actually down seven to fourteen to North Harrison right now. So lots of lots of games. You know, week nine. You know, I think a lot of teams may be trying to overlook their opponents. I don't have the Eastern score. Eastern's down fourteen, and they are at Clarksville, right? Charlestown, Charlestown. Wow. Okay, so they're they're playing tight there. So, and Eastern trying to come back. They've had some thing, and they've got a really good draw too. I think they drew Clarksville possibly. Yeah, they did draw Clarksville. And I think they host so Clarksville there on that. So. Um, of course, Charlestown will come to Salem again. I guess they were just there last week, weren't they? So got to come back, and we will go to Eastern Green. Um, I believe we are just radio next week. Is that confirmed? We're, we're, we're both awesome. So that's awesome. So especially if you can't make it out, I know that's a long drive. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how far, if it's any further than North Central. <laughs> it's not. It's free. Awesome. So that's something we'll pump out this week, so you can do that. And we'll, we'll, we'll love to see your tweets during that one, so make sure you're sending us some stuff so we'll get you posted. Um, we'll have people from all over. That's one of my favorite favorite times of the year, Bubba, is when we get into sectional play. Hopefully it's a long, long run for us. If we were to be fortunate enough to win that game, we will host the next week the winner of Providence and uh, Springs Valley. That's going to be a great game. A lot of emotions coming in here as we get ready for the second half kickoff. Bubba's already pointed out, you got to have those hands teams ready. So. Um, you know, there was some there was some flubs last week for Salem on special teams, so they're trying to um, come back and do something here. So Salem's going to have to try to get this ball back quick. West Washington's got to try to fall on it. So lots of stuff. Got a lot of the younger guys honored at halftime there. That was pretty awesome. So you know, uh, I was looking at our first half stats real quick. It looks like uh, we were led and rushing by uh, two players mainly. Kenton Chase, of course, with that 75-yard run for a touchdown, but he had five carries for 90 yards. Ethan Roberts with 12 carries for 60 yards in the first half and a touchdown as well. Uh, Kenton only threw it a couple times there. Uh, and Maul was one, uh, he threw it eight times for 29 yards, two interceptions. Uh, rushing for Salem, uh, Evan Bowling had eight carries for seven yards, so we've done a great job on him. Ball had two for 16, and Blake Lorman had one for 10. So good job holding back the run for Salem. 
you know, where they have uh, did damage on that one drive that they had the touchdown call back when Maul uh, ran it into the end zone. So got to watch his legs a little bit here in the second half as the Senators will get the ball here to start this third quarter play. You know, it's a, it's a mental game too. You got to play that mental game the right way. You know, for the Senators, they, they use that mental game that uh, failed the Lions right there and they were able to get a score there late. So. The centers need to have a good mental game here. They've got the right guys out there. We looked, that's the whole hand team is Johnston. You got your starting tight end. You got your um, starting safety there. So Zach Stice up there. Yeah, yeah they got most of their hands team out there. Yeah, Bradley over here on the corner. They're probably coming towards him, but they don't know he's got really good hands. So Yeah, Southern with a great kicker, too, in uh, number 10, Johnny Talley. The uh, the junior kicker, he is a, a great, great Is he kicker. a soccer player, too? Yeah, big yeah. soccer kid, but yeah. uh, mainly turned to football pretty much. Uh, really? Okay. And uh, has been kicking all the way back into the middle school days. But he really kicks a good onside kick, so you got to be alert and ready we, for it, that. Is it going to be uh, high, or is it going to have a high bounce? Or is well, it they have tried to shoot him over to the sideline some, you know, and get I'd say somebody it's go- underneath of it. It's going towards Salem sideline. Yeah, they got, they got their uh, speedsters over yeah. there, Stevenson, Shock. Hockey, bowling, they're all on that yep. far side. So what Jackson Cameron has to realize is he's just got to watch if that ball yeah. breaches that front line. He's got to get to it. We'll see what Tally does here as we start the second half. Senators up 14 to nothing. And Tally will put it back into play here. So he'll set up. They'll get the kicking team ready to go. Senators with their hands people out there. We'll see what he does. He'll approach it now, kicks it. It's a squib kick. Oh. Side, and they and it, got it back. They got it back. It went right off of Smith there, right into the hands right there. I right. called it. I knew Tally. Yep. He is very good at yep. those onside kicks. You got to get him. Johnston tried to field it, and it bounced off his chest. And the Lions yep. get it back, back at their own. 47. All right, so now you got to refocus right here. It's the tail of two halves. So you can't you can't do that. You can look no further than down the road of what Eastern did when they were up on this team and let them back oh, in. Yeah. You don't do it. And they've kind of been a second-half team. Yep. It takes them a little while to yep. get going, but when they do, you know, they've got some weapons. So that's the momentum for them as they get the onside kick to start the third quarter. Maul comes back out, trips on the near side here. Take Shocked a shot out. here. He'll They're going to take, take a shot. Snap. He'll throw it out here in the flat. flat. Catch is made by Bowman. He'll try to take it down the sideline. Got hit and finally pushed out of bounds. Yep. As he gets hit down here at about the Senator 42 yep. or 3 Big yard first line. down there. Zach Stice was well, not able. Well, about I don't the. Know. I right think. Right at the marker. About a yard, it looks like. Nope, they're going to so give him the first down. down. Yep. So, I mean, that's where they went quick. So, Maul hits it out here to Bowman, and we've talked about him a 10 yard pickup in the Senator territory at the 43 yard line. First and 10. Now, for Salem as they set up their trips to the far side this time. Maul out of the shotgun once again, Bowen back there with him. Snap will come here. He's going to drop. Now he takes off with it. He's going to run it here to the weak side. And oh, ball's out. Ball's out. We're right to the Senators. Right back. Senators. Right back. As a, they fell on it, the Senators dive in there. Number one, Mason, Mason Cox, Cox coming through. Huge. But a big hit there by the Senators, yep. I believe, uh, Grayson McCoy. Yeah. And also uh, 22 there for the Senators. Uh, you want to talk about as much as they were celebrating over there, now it goes over here to the boys in blue. I said 22. It was actually 32. Tyler Miller Tyler made Miller. that hit and a fumble for the Lions. And I don't know that Tyler was the guy who got hit with or Wyatt over there. I thought it was Tyler got hit with the ball on the on site. Was it Johnson? No, it was it Johnson. Okay. Yeah, first so, and 10. You know, they, now way to get it back. That's all you got to do. The Senator 37-yard line. They'll start there. Kent oh, Keith man, he's got a hole. Hands it off to Roberts. He's going to take it down the sideline. Got one guy to beat. Cuts back across the middle. He oh, stepped he stepped out, out right there. That's yeah, all right. Right there at about the uh, 43-yard line. Yeah, he was so tiptoeing. About a three, let's see here. That's a 10, 16-yard pickup by Roberts. You know, I coached I – co- I had the pleasure of coaching Ethan in junior high, and he was always a wide guy. He'd get wide, and I said, if you can ever learn to cut it back up. He did there. He did he there. Just, <laughs> if he wouldn't have stepped out of bounds, he might have scored. Yeah. He has, First and 10 in Salem territory. Kenton will move in. Hard count. Oh. First and 10 there at the Lion 44-yard line as he'll check to the sideline. High in the backfield, Roberts back there with him. Snap will come here. He does. He turns, hands it off. Ethan Roberts gets hit. But he's going to drag two guys. And he dives forward. Tackle there by number 57 uh, for the uh, Lions as he comes across there. That's uh, Noah Dalton. And a gain of about three yards by Ethan. So it'll bring up second down and seven. 
at the Salem 40. And there was a lot of extracurriculars after that play as the uh, back judge there was telling uh, there, you know, kind of calm down because we had a guy basically looking like he was swimming on top of somebody there. Second down and seven. High in the backfield for West Washington as Kenton will come under center now to take this snap. He does, turns, and fumbles. But he oh, fell he right back, back on, it. on it. Fell right back on it. He was lucky there as he had yep. to dive, a loss of one on the play. So it's going to bring up a uh, third down and about eight now for the Senators back at their own at the Salem 42. So uh, couldn't get a handle on that one as Kent tried to pull out of there too quick and uh, Kellen Humphrey was coming for the Lions, almost got there. I think you put Kenton in the gun here. You give him a chance to go right or left, whichever way he wants to go. Nope, They'll they're going to go back to the eye. Right They'll there. split two guys wide to the far side and Williams and Johnston. There'll be a lot of heat coming from Snap that side. Come. They'll turn, hand it off. Roberts, the ball carrier, and he He's goes down right away. we got a flag over here. And a two flag flags. comes in there. So, Do we have yeah, offset? That's going to be against them. I'm not sure what the first one Oh, no. And Roberts is down. Roberts He's... is down. He's hurt. They piled on him there at the end. Number 20, Everett Rocky, come in there. And he's gonna, uh, he's put a pop. shot on him after he was Looks already Looks like he went right, right to the groin there. Yep. He hit him right yeah. there, too. And so Ethan will come out of the game. But so. uh, that's going to be a personal foul. Yeah, so somebody's coming in as the centers are, you know, hopefully what you don't want is offsetting. If there was one over there on us and then the personal foul, you don't get anything off of it. The one flag's on the far, far side. side. So I wonder what that one was about. Were we all, were we a little a false start on or us? something? I think it's. I think what we're going to have here is we're going to have a personal foul on them, but a false start on us is what, I, and they're going to negate. The personal foul though was after, after the play. play so okay. Not sure what to, they'll march off. The march off the first on one us and, and then, then march take it off. On okay. Off on them. False start false on us. Start, five yarder. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then the senators. Then a personal, personal foul. 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 That's against unsportsmanlike Mike against the uh, lions. lions. Yeah. So that will move it back five, and then they'll take off uh, 15, I believe. Wow, okay. Should be a first down automatic. So we'll see from there. So, so they'll move it all the way across the 35 down to about the 33, and it'll be first and 10 for the Senators there. So I, I look Hudson Crest. He's got the blockers over here on the left side. Eye in the backfield. Snap will come. It'll turn. I'll hand it off. It'll go to Crest. And he'll take it to the right hand side of that offensive line and not get much there. No. He about got hit at the line of scrimmage. So might have got a yard. They'll give him a yard. All the blockers were set up perfectly there, but all the defenders were also set up perfectly. So it was like a chess match. So a gain of one on the play. Second down and nine now for the uh, Senators at the Salem 32-yard line. Titan Williams will split wide to the far side. Eye in the backfield here, Senators driving. Kent will go under center, takes a snap, turns, rolls out. Got pressure coming, he'll have to get rid of it quickly. He does. He does. Finds his man there open in the flat, that's Johnson. Grace, that's Grace McCoy. And, yeah, McCoy actually takes it down to about the 12-yard uh, line. Well, they'll spot him out about the 15. Yeah. Mr. Possession catch so all year. A gain right of there. about 14 on that one as Kenton got that ball away at the last That's second. Second, got it out there to Johnston, a 14-yard pickup and a first down. So a great play there by Kent. <laughs> that ball was never in the right spot. Oh, I watched. No. It was around his hip, and then he gets it off as he's getting drilled. All right. First down and 10 from I, the 15. Now I in the backfield. They stack, stack the a lot a up the middle. Snap will come, we'll turn, hand it off. Johnson's going to get pushed. Johnston, and he gets a little bit of a push, a couple hard yards yep. inside the 15 to about the 13-yard line, where it will be a gain of two and second down and eight now for the Senators inside the 15. They'll come to the sideline. Yeah, as the Senators are trying to – you're trying to get yourself timed where you're not going to make mistakes. You take your time, but you also run your offense. High in the backfield, second down and eight. Kenton will go under center. Snap will come. He'll turn, hand it off. He I got a big seam. Oh, he got rocked. And he got hit hard in the back. That yeah. was Hudson, but Hudson held on to the ball inside yep. the 10, down to about the uh, – Looks like Wyatt was actually Wyatt. Wyatt. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Wyatt uh, took a shot from behind there, but takes it inside the 10. If it's Hudson, his hair would have flipped up yeah. and I would have been able to see it. That's the only way I can tell the difference, Bubba, <laughs> usually, is I can see one of them's got a lot of hair. Wyatt gets of four, so it'll be third down and four now at the nine-yard line. Wyatt's used to having guys try to slam him on a mat. That's not going to hurt him a lot of times. <laughs> Eye in the backfield. Kenton will go under center Robert's once back again. in here. Snap will come. He'll drop back, wants to throw. He's got, He's got pressure, him there. rolls out. Throw it away, throw it away, throw it away. Throws it at the last second. Touchdown. Touchdown. Oh, he's, oh, he's out, out of bounds. bounds. Yeah, Shoot. McCoy. We I had, thought he caught it. He, he got behind he, the defense he there. Did. And uh, Wyatt was open. They threw from, it to him. And, from our uh, angle, Grayson was out. Incomplete. Grayson was just doing his best impression of the Bears wide receivers on those last couple drives last night for the Bears. So fourth down and four now at the nine-yard line. So yeah. big fourth down play here. You can still get a first down yeah. without scoring, but uh, got to get yeah. the necessary yardage. Yeah. I like that play call there of taking a shot because you know you can get some yards here. I think you go Ken, get him to the left side over here, Bubba. He's got some blockers. They'll set up here. Uh, just uh, Roberts in the backfield with him. As a snap will come, and now a timeout is yeah. going to be called by Coach Lowry here with yeah. 8.13 to go in the third quarter. They had Humphrey over here as the out as the, as the the end, and that's where I think we were lined up maybe to the wrong side there. That's what he wanted to see. Fourth and four, so we'll take a break. Come back here on your home for Center Sports. It's West Washington 14, Salem nothing. Links Clothing and Shoes is proud to support West Washington Senator football and wish them a great season. Stop by and see us for all your school fan gear. We offer a wide variety of tees, hoodies, hats, and more. We also offer custom screen printing and embroidery for your team, business, or event. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and have been serving our community for over 15 years. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and on Saturdays, they're 9 to 3. Stop in or call us at 812-883-4154. That's 812-883-4154. Shop local and save. All right, back here live, fourth down and four. Kent will go under center here, ball at the nine-yard line. Snap will come. He'll turn, pitch it wide to Roberts. They're going to try to get him around the corner. He cuts back up the middle. He's going to oh, the We got a flag right at the uh, very end, Bubba. Flag. They're going to call it all. They're going to call it against us the very last second there. Touchdown run from nine yards Holding out. Holding is going to be all the way back to the 10-yard line. I think it was one of the guys who got cut down there. So, But that will come back. So uh, that's a shame because Roberts made a great, great run. Great cut, yeah. Cut back and was able to score, but uh, that holding penalty is going to negate that touchdown. So both teams have had one negated tonight. So yep. definitely some uh, – Hunter's well, been the real winner He's tonight. Been all over the field. That will move mean, the ball all the way back to the 20. I'm going to talk to Miss Karen about washing all these flags for these guys after this game because they've thrown them a lot. So it will be a uh, fourth down and about uh, 16 now for the Senators. They have to get it down to about the five-yard line for a first down. I think uh, you just get all you can get here, try yeah. to pin them deep if you can't get it. So, eye in the backfield. Kenton will go under center. I think Kenton on a run. Pause Snap him. comes. He'll drop back, wants to throw. Got time goes down there. He's got Mason Cox, and he can't yeah, get it. Can't get it to him. He had the inside so edge. Looked like he was held there, but yeah. uh, no call by the official. You know, look like – you know, Hayden Bauman there with a Bauman with a great, uh, you know, coverage play ha put himself between Mason and the ball, and the ball never got to him. So, center's got to regroup here and uh, just get a stop. Well, you've got them pinned deep. They have to take over at their own yeah. nine. So, I kind of like I, I, on that play. I'd almost like to run it like you said and just keep putting back even a more couple. Or I yards. said the nine actually yeah. is back at the twenty because yeah. of that penalty. Penalty. So yeah, they're so starting here from the. 20-yard line, yeah. first and 10, Salem trips here to the near side, mole out of the gun. Snap will come here, it does, he drops out, wants to throw, hits uh, Stevenson there in the flat, and he but is. he gets uh, covered up right there after yep. he makes a catch, good for about a three-yard pickup. Two things came up on that play, one, the snap was a little high, and then his throw was a little high, so that gave the center defense enough time to recalculate there and come through and uh, provide a great tackle. Gain of three, second down and seven, the ball at the 24-yard uh, line. So 7.38 to go here in the third quarter. Senators on top 14 to nothing. Salem trying to put their first points on the board. Maul out of the gun, bowling back there with him. 
kind of a bunch formation here. Yep. They'll turn, hand it off the bowling. He'll try the metal. J.G. Cruz meets him right yeah. there. So not much on the run. He might have got a yard. Looks like he's on, look, he's on the 26. Yeah, he, he got like. a couple hard yards there by bowling. So I'll tell you, that's one thing about that kid. I, I've known that kid all my life. He, he is a hard charger. He runs – Bubba, his legs just he keeps going. Not and the going. biggest, but he's no. got a hard to go. And they he said he wasn't a hundred percent either. They said so. Yeah, some, he's been a little gimpy. He's I been know. beat up a lot. Which but. there's but he's been the focus of the offense here for the Lions. Third so. down and four at the twenty six. So a big third down play here. Maul out of the gun, sets a man in motion, and Lorman takes there a snap, they, turns, hands off counter. bowling, and he got, gets hit again yeah. right there after about a yard or two pickup, not even out to the thirty at about the twenty nine is where they'll spot well they're going to mark it about the 30 pretty generous spot there and it'll bring up a fourth down and two now they're going to bring on the punk crew it looks like well watch them here i know the quarterback ran off the field there same when they had a first down which was not correct but uh so they'll put uh, the punting unit out there nobody nothing, nobody back there deep nobody yeah I just let it be so bowman stands back at about his own 15 to kick this ball away Snap comes. He's going to, and he will punt it. Gets off He'll, a good one. Only guy back there is the back judge. Takes a Salem roll, too, yep. and rolls all the way down to about the 25, where it'll be down to the 26. And that's where the Senators will take over at their own 26 here with 5.56 to go in this third quarter, up 14 to nothing. Need to tack another one on here. We, we've got to uh, you move the football. control the ball and eat some clock, eat some clock but, you know, do – do what you do, but also here's the big thing, is to win on that mental side right now. Oh, the, yeah. The mental side is what you have to accomplish more than anything because a game is full of highs and lows, and, you know, the peaks um, don't last long, but the valleys seem to last forever. So you got to kind of go through the ebbs and flows of it and do your best here. First and 10 at their own 26 for the Senators. Kenton under center, eye in the backfield. He'll take it. Yeah, we were, we, were, we were all false starting, looks like. Yep. yep. Oh, oh, on the defense. Oh, encroachment, wow. Yeah, they were trying to jump that snap. They've yeah. been all over that all night long, and this time they get called for it. Yeah, that was. Looks like the D end on this side was the one that jumped because they got a little bit. I, and I think he wasn't the aggressive. only one after I looked at it because I had another guy that was already in the backfield there. So got him on that. So we'll see what happens here as the centers get a little bit first time Bubba all night. They've gotten a penalty on first 31, down. 31, so first and five now for the Senators. Kenton will go under center. Titan Williams to the far side here. Eye in the backfield. He'll you see check. And now he'll call it. Takes it, turns, hands it off. Hudson Kress will come off the mm. right side. Gets hit after about a yard pickup out to about the 32 yard line there as Everett Rocky up to make the hit for Salem. So a gain of one by Hudson. About one of the official shoes to the left for us there. Second down and four now at the 32. 5.39 to go. Kenton will get to play from the sideline. Still 20 seconds on the game clock, so plenty of time here. They'll break the huddle, come to the line. And eye in the backfield. Man, they stacked again. a lot of guys up there, Bubba. Yeah, they're, they're coming. So Kenton will keep it himself. Cuts off tackle. And oh, we got a flag. Got a flag I think we got. Okay, there. let's hope that's there. Let's hope it's a face mask because that's yeah, I'm what not people. Not sure what they call, but I don't know either. But it seems like every in time in that area near a hole, but Kenton keeps it. Got a guy. He picked up about a couple of yards yeah. on that carry. Holding against Holding. us. Yep. So that It'll was still be second down. So that's, Man, we've had a ton of those holding penalties. Yeah, I know. Tonight, we've definitely. I'm going to have to shore that up for sure. Yeah, Spot not, foul will take it all the way back inside the 25 to about the 23. So it'll be second down and about 12 now, now for the now, Senators. Now the Senators want to get some yards. You want to get yards. You want to try, you know, you've got three plays here, you know, basically two to try to get on the other side of those sticks. So you got to come up with two plays that are about six yards apiece. Second and 12. Back at the 27-yard line, Kenton will go out of the under center, pitches it wide. It'll go to Kress. He'll try to cut it. He gets a little seam and picks up pretty decent yards. Got about five yards up to about the 30. They're going to mark him just shy at the 29. He took a little ride there but was able to hold on to the football. So he got about five of it back. So yeah. it'll bring up third down now and about seven for the Senators here. <laughs> That's the thing about this Salem defense. They've 
it causes enough to where if they get to you, it's they're going to take you down. However, if you can just get just a little bit outside of them, they you know you've already beat three fourths of the team. So third and seven, ball at the 29 yard line. I'd say maybe a pitch over here to the left side. Eye in the backfield for the Senators. Kenton under center takes it, rolls out, wants to keep it himself. Got blockers out in front of him, gets a good block out here, cuts the corner. And I believe he got enough for the first down. Yes, he did. If that's the spot right there, he's yeah, right got it. Here's yeah. where he's at. Wow. So good run there by Kenton as he gets out of bounds up here at about the 41-yard line. So he picks up about uh, 13 yards on that carry and a first down for the Senators. That's a big that's first down. That's a big down. first down there after having the penalties. And, and that takes the uh, air that takes the air out of yeah. that defense there. Their that, defense has been on the field a yes. lot. Out to those the kids 41. Have been, those kids have been trucking hard. That's something I will say. You know, it's it's not easy playing in that conference when you, when you oh, have yeah. that. I mean, it's not there, you know. 41-yard line. Kenton will go under center. Look how many guys they got in the box. Wow. They got nine guys in the box. Snap will come. It'll go to Crest. He'll try to cut. No, nope, that's, that's uh, gonna McCoy. Be... And another penalty as yep. uh, Dalton comes up to make the hit. And they got another going to throw it on yeah. him for taunting probably. Yeah, yeah. that probably is taunting. Yeah, they're probably going to throw it on him. This guy over here did not like that, so that's what he threw. So let's see. So that, yep. yeah, I, I think he's calling it on 25, I think, there. Or was it 20? Whoever was over here with Robert. So it was yeah, some, some, I, something some, happened right here. 25, yeah. I think 25 come up and kind of did a little thing. and it was I think like, it was 23, actually. Yeah. So we'll see. I don't know. That first one was probably a hold. Hold, yeah. But the second one was something against Southern. And I, I hate this, Bubba, because this is, these are two great uh, public school teams. It slows teams that, down yeah, the it game. It slows down too. the games, and it's like you never want to let this, you know, result in that. Yes, there's well, emotions. Well, a lot of these penalties for Salem are frustration. Yeah. You know, they, they've they had a tough year. And, yeah. You know, the kids uh, – but you got to learn to play through that. Yeah. You can't – have extracurricular stuff after the play. And you know, that's, and that's the that's growing pains. Them. That's the growing pains we had last oh, yeah. year. A yeah, lot. What, what, what frustrated us calling games, you know, yep. there was bonehead plays that you'd make, and you don't want that. So here we go. So it was first and 10. Go we got a hold against uh, West Washington. Washington. We got a personal person. foul against Salem offsetting. Same. Repeat first down. All right. So repeat the first down. Okay. Ball stays at the 41. So nothing happened there. Offset. Okay. All right. First and 10. Do it again, as they say. Yep. I think about two seconds went off that clock, too, because it was like 4.30. That's the thing, too. We Somebody jinxed us up here, Bubba. They said the first quarter went so fast. Yeah, and then, I did. Now and then, 4.18 four to go here in the third. We just need to come out, move the football here. Yeah, first I mean, and 10 just at the 41. keep doing what you do. I mean, that's the thing. Titan Williams wide to the far side. <laughs> Titan I'm doing a great job. He's ran a <laughs> lot of routes tonight. He's covered a lot of ground. Kenton under center sets a man in motion, and Johnson turns, fakes a hand. No, he gives it to Roberts. He cuts, and just a shoestring tackle yep. there by Bowman out at about the Senator 47-yard line. So uh, short of the first down, but he picks up about uh, seven yards on that carry by Roberts. So it'll yeah. be second down and three now for the Senators at their own 47 with 352. This quarter has lasted forever. Ever. Forever, I mean. So second and a long three is Kenton will check to the sideline, get a play here. They'll call it. With not a lot of breaks. That's what's bad. No, it hasn't been. Bad. These penalties has not been like our usual breaks. So they'll break the huddle, come to the line, second down and three at their own 47. Set Grayson McCoy in motion. They'll turn. Oh, Why Johnson off with Johnson. a great run on the inside? He's going to and he pushes forward up to about, about the 50. Yeah, I he's going to get the 50 as his progress there. Well, 49. They're going to move back just a little bit there. So a couple hard yards right there in the middle of that uh, by McCoy. Just give him one, actually. So it'll be third down and two now. Yeah, so it's a big two here. At the 49-yard line. 3.05 left here in the third quarter. Senators leading 14 to nothing. So they'll break the huddle, come to the line. Eye in the backfield once again as they'll set up here. Kent goes under center, turns, hands it off. Big run up the middle. Yeah, Johnson. Just a Johnson with a gut check as he takes it across the 50 to the Salem 46-yard line. A gain of five by Wyatt and a first down. 
So another first down. We're just kind of eating up the clock here and marching down the field. 242 to go in this quarter. And that first down's a big thing because they it's just were, they were able to get a couple guys came off to get a quick well, now breather you can here. Kind of open up your playbook yep. a little bit too. You got a couple guys just came on to give some breathers. Eye in the backfield. Kenton under center. Snap will come. He'll turn. Pitch it wide. It goes to Cress. He slides, but then mm. gets a little running room. Got it back to the line of scrimmage, I believe. No gain on the play as he got smothered up there yeah. after he slid a little bit. Great coverage there by the lines. Just takes uh, Hudson. Hudson, they've been able to contain him there. I, I think to break through the line, the, the Lions line, you almost have to be a little brute, you know, a little well, more I brute. I mean, they're or, stacking yeah. eight, nine guys in that box every time. And yep. I still think – if we had time to go out of the gun and throw that yeah. little pop pass, it's wide open. I think so too. Yeah. If but you got to have time to run it. Yeah. And that's been the problem going under center. You can't really yeah, do but that. Yeah. You, and you're also getting yards, so you just go. Yeah. With it. So go with it. Second down and ten. Kenton will take it. Turn. And he Johnson hands it got, off. Johnson. Yeah, he again. got it. Lost a yard this time as pressure coming through. Bowling actually threw to make that hit. That's one I wish that Kidden would have pulled back and tucked. Yeah, he should have kept that ball. To the left side. He's got to read that. When he sees that pressure, he's got to pull it third down and 11 now for the Senators <laughs> at the Salem 47. I think that's what Coach Robolowski yeah, was telling just him. telling him that there. Pull the ball. Pull the ball, son. Pull the ball. Use those lightning. You know, when you're running that you know, quarterback option, yeah. you, you've got to read that read key. It is. And they were all over Y at that time. Yeah. So he's got to pull that. Third and 11. Eye in the backfield once again. Snap will come here. He turns, fakes a handoff. He pulls it this time. Now he gets wide, gets around the corner, gets hit, and goes down across the 45 to yep. about the 44-yard line. So he picks up about three yards on the carry, does Kenton, and it'll bring up a third or fourth down, actually, and about uh, eight now for the Senators. And they're going to punt They're going to have to punt. And it'll be um, – We need a good punt here, pin them deep. Yeah, I mean, that's where you pit, you go. And we right don't now, want Bowman to return no. this thing either, so Kenton needs to keep If it almost angle it, you know, just pure angle, yeah. almost wish you could have like a rugby-style kick into it. Snap comes. It's a good one. He'll get it away. He got it away. Just, just barely. Barely, but that's a great and kick. it bounces out wow. of bounds. Yeah, good kick down there at about the 15-yard uh, yeah. line. Great so kick. He kept it away from Bowman. Just barely got it off, though. He had pressure coming. Yeah, whoever was that protector on the left Kellen side. Kellen Humphrey uh, got through yeah. and almost blocked that thing. Yep. Ken done his job and held, held so through. So the punt and comes, and that will put Salem at their own 15 with uh, 22 seconds to go here in this third quarter. Credit, credit to Humphrey, too. He came through and, you know, did it clean. He didn't get a – No, no, he, he didn't. He didn't, he didn't screw it up by, you know, running, running into, into, into a kicker yeah. or something like that. So first and 10 for the Lions at their own 15. Ball out of the shotgun here. Snap will come with 22 seconds on the third quarter clock. It comes. He'll keep it He's himself. Keep himself Option there. play runs to the outside. Got hit, but keeps it. And uh, there's now a, there's, there's a hold. hold. Yeah, there's a hold. Yep. You know, here's the deal. If you're running the ball more than 15 yards tonight to the sideline, it's going to be a hold. Yeah, 56. Uh, Parker Boule going to get called for that one. Yeah, that's going to. And that's, that was a good run by yeah. Maul. He picked up about seven yards, but that one's going to go backwards. Man, we've seen a ton of penalties. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want this. You know. I don't. I, don't, I never want the game to be cited by the, by the guys in stripes. You always want it to be by the. You know the Jimmys well, and, and Joes. It really and, hasn't as far as the scores. Yeah. You know that first score, seventy-five yard run. And second you, one, eleven yard run. No, no penalty. But, but this has got a lot of like week one vibes. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like when you're not. It's like. You don't want to, and you also want to. You want both teams to be good going into sectional. Which might blow people away that I would actually say that. You want both teams to be good right. to go. You know, oh, you it's do. what you do. First you do. and 20 now back at about the five. Maul out of the gun. Two, three receivers here to the near side. He's going to throw it. Got a man open. He hits Bowman right in the middle of the Phil. defense there. And he picks up about uh, 13 yards. Man, we're leaving that guy yep. open. I don't know why. But uh, that's a 13-yard pickup. And that's going to be the end of the third quarter here. You're listening to WWSR, the official home of West Washington Sports. That's going to be the end of the third. In 2012, the Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our county. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships 
and a peer mentoring program. The foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing that strength lies in numbers, Washington County partnered with Clark, Floyd, Harrison, and Scott counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. This initiative continues to build. All right, back here live as we start the fourth quarter. 12 minutes goes up on the clock. Salem with the football at their own 21-yard line, second down and four after a 13-yard pickup on that pass play on first down. So Maul will go out of the gun once again, bowling behind him. Receivers wide to each side as he'll set up here, second down. Sets a man in motion in Bowman. Snap will come. There's going to go to him. Right here to him. He makes a grab. But and he, he falls. goes down right at about the 24-yard uh, line. So a little bit shy of the first down. He picked up three yards. And that's he one needed of those, four. Yeah, that's one of those uh, like arena type plays there. So that's going to put him up at third and short here. Look for the long count. Look for a quarterback keep us. Got, somebody's down for the centers. That's not good there. Somebody at the Third down and one. Yeah, we got a guy in the backfield down. Is that Roberts? That looks like Robertson. He is holding his knee. That is not good. Not good. So does that. We're going to step aside for a commercial break. Yeah, we'll break. take a break and come back here on your home for Senator Sports. It's uh, West Washington 14, Salem nothing. This is your IHSAA. This is your state. This is your high school. This is your athletic association. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and we're here to make sure that all of this remains yours. This is your state. This is your community. This is your IHSAA. High school sports fans, welcome back to game time to pure spirit, to pure sport. Welcome back to high school sports. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and I just want to say, welcome back. This is game time. This is Indiana high school sports. This is your IHSAA. All right, back here live, Ethan Roberts comes off with a cramp, it looks like. So fourth down, or third down and one. Mole out of the gun. Snap comes. It's a bad snap, but he gets it away. But he gets hit. But he pushes forward. Yeah, he's gonna Got get the first down. Yeah, that's gonna yeah. be enough. Hopefully, he blow this. Blow this play yeah, dead. Blow this play dead. A long time ago. That's supposed to that's be. That's where stuff happens. Yes. You know, for for no nothing's gonna happen good for the Lions or the centers there with that. Nope. Three you yard know. pickup, good for first down as he crosses the uh, 25 out to about the 28 yard line. So first and 10, Salem. As the clock runs here in the fourth quarter, 11.26 to go. Lions still looking for their first points of the night. Maul go out of the gun, new set of downs here. They do a bunch formation there, heavy to the right. Snap will come, he'll hand it off to Bowling. Bowling will try to cut the corner, he will, and he goes he up, up in the air and he gets hit, and goes down, good tackle Zach by Stice. As Zach comes up to make that hit right at the 35-yard line. And that's a great read by the safety there, Bubba, cutting across field. That's a pursuit drill. Six-yard pickup there by Bowling. So second down and four for the Lions at their own 35-yard line. Some shoulder pads getting adjusted there by the official on Hudson Crest. His were up around as a... Uh, Jersey came up and over there. So second down and four, Maul out of the gun. Snap comes here on second down. They give to Bowling. He just dives forward, got enough. Yep. Out to the 40-yard line. So a five-yard pickup there by Evan. And another first down for Mason Salem. Cox grabbing his arm there. He took a shot somehow. He's sitting there grabbing it. That's not good because he's that, that cornerback over there. He says he's all right. He's grabbing his hand, his wrist now. I just hate that. Helmet on the wrist. Yeah, something. I don't. You don't want to see that because then that's where I'm going to take the shot if I'm the quarterback. If I see that guy's, he's in physical. He's on the far First side of the field. And ten now. Maul out of the gun. High snap. snap. He able to pull it down. Gets it oh, he, the bowling. Oh, he was somehow and comes down. He got his hand on the ground. Yeah, I got his hand on the ground. Down. No. So he got another five yards out to the 46. Got something six out yards. of nothing there, Bubba. Yeah, and that was a high snap. We've seen that a few times out of them. So. 
six-yard pickup by Evans. So well, when your hands get sweaty forward. and you get a little emotional and you got the adrenaline going, that's where your snaps start to uh, you start to uh, not do the fundamentals. Right. We need to get our defense set here. Second down and four. Maul out of the gun. Snap will come. It does. He wants to. Oh, it out. he keeps it. He's good. As we kind of jump that coverage. Now he did, he, he drops it off, yeah. And Bowman good for a first down as they jumped him right there off the gun. And a first down as he receives it for about seven yards. And that's what I hate. Grayson should just continue pursuit on him because he had people in the back. And then that's what I think the, the mismatch was there, that both of them dropped back. But he was able to sneak right behind that first line and catch that ball. First down for Salem in Senator territory at the 47-yard line, 9.30 to go here in this fourth quarter. West Washington 14, Salem nothing. Lines will break the huddle. Mole out of the gun this time. Bowling back there with him. Bunch formation to the right. They'll go to the right with Bowling. And he'll try to cut the corner and got some blockers out in front of him. When they line up heavy, you know it's going that yep. way. And he's able to pick up another five yards down to about the Senator 42. Here comes Roberts back out. Yeah, he's back out, and Hampton comes out there. As Roberts was able to look like a calf. Look like his back calf yeah, I was I think actually, he cramped up there. Yeah, which is crazy. You think of your cramping when it's a cool. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It feels good in here. Second down and five for the Lions. Out of the gun. Maul back there with bowling. Sets a man in motion. That's Lorman. Snap will come. They'll turn, hand it off. Bowling the ball carrier. Gets hit. Breaks He's got it. Breaks out of him. He's going to go. He's go to the house, maybe. Mason Cox catches him from behind. And he pulls him down at about the five-yard line. At the last, Cox able to make the tackle. At the Bowling, last second there. Bowling squirted through there. Yep. So he takes it, uh, what, about 30 uh, 37 yard. 37 yard run there, and that'll be first and goal for the Lions from. Closest they've been all night. Yeah, five yard line here. First and goal at the five. All kinds of people running off and on for the Senators there. Kai's running so Bowling will set up, shotgun or mall. They'll hand it off to Bowling, and he gets hit and goes down. Oh, we There's got a, a flag, oh, flag yeah, over that's there. That's going to be on them. Them, oh my gosh, if that is, a, if that is against the Lions. He that just it, tackled Mason Cox yeah. in the end zone. So that's what they're going to call a number eight there for the Lions. Braxton Dean. And we got a guy down over here. Yeah, we that's got several guys, several guys down, down. Cramping up, really, it looks like. We got to have to get some salt tablets or something. Yeah. 822 to go. We'll see what the penalty was. But I've seen Mason Cox get tackled in the corner yeah. of the end zone by number eight. Looked like Braxton Dean. Yeah. For the Lions. So I'm not sure if that's what the call was or not. But that's where the flag is. As we got somebody, Robert still. That looks like up. JG Cruz is who that is down. So that looks like JG down there. Yeah, I He's believe JG's down there down. too. They got him down Grabbing looking his at knee his there. ankle. Robert so, still cramping. Still cramping He's up. just barely able to walk as he hobbles off the field here. <coughs> What right. they say about the flag? Nothing. I, nothing. I don't know. They picked he it picked up. He picked it up, but I mean, no call was made. I'm not sure. What is the call? There was a flag, like we said, in the corner of the end zone there. But we can't have first down on the board if it was if there was a play made, and that's what Coach Lowry, I think, is out there actually. In <laughs> How can you throw a flag and then? I mean, they tackled our uh, yeah our defensive back in the backfield. Threw him to the ground. And that's what they're. That's what he picked the flag up, and that's what I don't, you know, he threw it. So, Coach Lowry's going to want an explanation there. Is it, I think he got one, but it's not what he wanted. But where is the ball? What are we? So, we're moving the ball. They're setting the ball where, where second, it was at. So, it'll be second you know, goal at about the three. Three yard line there. So, 822. Center's leading 14 to nothing here in the fourth quarter. Two yard pickup by Bowling. So, defense going to have to uh, hold. But, yeah, they're going to have to come up big here. As many guys, there's a lot of guys out for the Senators here. A lot of the beef in the middle, so. Set a man in motion. Snap will come. It does. They hand it off he's to Bowling, and he goes short. Short? No, he's in. He didn't get in. He, they're saying he's in. The guy on the side oh. says he's in. I thought his knee was down there in the like ball. He was down at about the yep. one. So here they go. They're going to go. They're going to go for. So Bowling scores. Yep. Let's see. Rule says here. Rule says you go for two here, but. They're going to go for the one. 
So they'll bring in Johnny Talley to kick it. A lot of that's probably got to do with the fact that we missed our second uh, opportunity yep. for points. So they'll set Talley. Snap comes, kicks up, and it looks good. It's good. He sets it through. So 8 7 so left. Seven-point ball game here, 14-7, to seven, and you know what's coming. Yep. Onside kick. And the Senators' line is beat up. I mean, you got Kai Strother, you got J.G. Cruz was, was over there. There's a lot of guys that were just huffing and puffing. This is not good body language by the Senators. They've got to refocus here and get this ball, catch it, and then they've got to run. They've got to run their offense, and they've also got to run it to the point that they can, they can get some another score. In my humble opinion. Yeah, you need more points now. So you know you didn't get yeah. anything out of that last drive, and you know this onside kick is coming. Yes. You know, I mean it's 8:07. Salem's had trouble running the ball. Their biggest play was that 37-yard run by Bowling. Yep. And uh, then he got the t uh, the two-yard uh, run for the touchdown, but. You got to cover the ball here, get on it, and uh, get your offense back out there and try to milk this thing away here. Tally will line up. You got to play to win the game, not to not lose the yep. game. Don't play to lose here. You got to play aggressively. And they'll set up here as Tally will line up there to kick the ball back into play. And he's, he's a great onside kicker. He's a great kicker, period. So you know it's coming here. So they'll set up here comes the kick as Tyler will put it back into play with 8.07 to go in the game. He kicks it deep, squibs it down the side. Got to get to it, Hudson. Have to chase it down at about the 12. He'll pick it up there, brings it out. Got a Got seam. seam. And he gets up through here. Good He's still return. going. Still going all the way up past the 35 to the 37 or 8 yard line before he's hit. They'll call it the 38. He's hobbling off so too. So a good he got return there right, by Hudson. Got hit right in the quad there. He's grabbing He's cramping too. My goodness. Going to have to pass out some orange slices next These game. These guys on fall break, they ate too much uh, candy this week. Yeah. Not enough uh, salt in their diet. So yeah. first and 10, ball at the 38 yard line. JG's coming off there. He was on, now he's off. So that's so just 7.57 to go. We got to get first downs and eat this clock. We do. I mean, it's taking care of the ball and just doing what we've done all night. Roberts back out there as Kenton will go under center here to take the snap. It'll come. He'll turn, and Roberts will get it just right up the middle. And he'll push forward for a gain of about uh, three yards on the carry out to the 43. Give him almost uh, four yards. Second down and six now for the Senators. So 737, it's rolling, and the Senators are just going to be, you know, taking. You want to eat all the clock you can eat here. But you also don't want to get yourself. No, where you're you not, don't want to get non yeah. complacent where you're not no. moving the football. That's where you, and you also want to don't, this is something really strange during this time, Bubba. You never want to put yourself to where you're down on the play clock. Yes. Because you get it's like down to 10 now. 10 now so. so Kenton will go under center to take the snap here on second down and six. Snap will come. He'll turn, rolls out, wants to keep it himself, cuts the corner. And He's get chased out of bounds after he picks up about uh, two like yards up to the 45. But goes out of bounds, though, in the process there. That's the that's the only downside to that play. So bring up third down and four at the 45. And a big third down play here. you got to convert this with 7.07 .07 to go in the contest. 14-7. to 7. Senators up by a touchdown here. Yeah, they're going to be looking, I'd say, up the gut here with 7.07 .07 left, trying to just uh, get some yards. So Kenton will go under center once again. They stack the box. They got seven or eight up there. They'll give it to Roberts. He squirts through, and he cuts the outside. He's still going. Field. He's still He's going. Got one guy to beat, and finally he pulled down by a jersey. Down by a jersey. All yeah. the way down at the 35-yard line. Yeah. As, as so he picks up uh, 20, 15, Zane Pauly there was able to get a hold of the number 25, which is legal to grab him by that. Oh, yeah. 20-yard you know? pickup and a first down, that's a big one there. Yeah. Because that gives you some breathing it room. It does. As but, you take it all the way down to the Salem well, you, did, you didn't play in the time where the guys used to, like, cut their jerseys, did you? Oh, yeah, I did, actually. A lot wow. of guys done that. I never did because I didn't want my gut. Yeah. So. <laughs> I was afraid somebody would get sick. 6.41 to go here in the fourth quarter. First and 10 for the Senators, and they got a little spring in their step They now. do. They do now. 
They'll come up to the line. Snap will come. They'll fake it, hand it off to McCoy. the second guy, McCoy, through. I've been calling for that all night, and I think that, you know, I think that's just something I think Grayson's going to be able to bust because they're going to eat so hard on Roberts yeah. and then go there. But About a two-yard pickup there right. by McCoy. Biggest thing, clock's rolling here. Centers are on their side of the, ball, the field. They're At gonna the 33-yard line, so second down and eight now for West Washington. 6.07 to go here. Got to take care of the football. I think, Can't I th turn I it over I here. I think you go to Roberts, the horse that got you here. Yeah. And you, we'll you, see what they do. He's still kind of cramping. He up. is. And well, now McCoy's in front of him, so he's got a lead yep. blocker. Okay. Could, tight to the other I'll side. Just, let's here. let everybody get set. You got seven seconds. Kent will take the snap here. He does. Turns, fakes a hand. He's going to pass it. Out. He's got a man open in the flat. He got it. Got it. Catch They're gonna come. Made. This guy's yeah, right here he saying he's it. got it. Yeah, he made the catch. He's saying he got it. That's all that nice matters. Sliding catch there by the Senators. Now they're saying this guy on this uh, side saying no. This guy right here who was right on top of it. Yeah, he's right here. He's, he's letting he him catch. on the far side overrule him. How does it was incomplete? How does that work when it happens right in front of you? That's the guy with the. Uh, he's got the earpiece. We can talk to him. Ask him what he's. We'll run that back and look at it. I, yeah. It's, it, is it on the ground? It, it may have been, but it was close. My, my, my main pet peeve Man, was the guy like right here. The guy, the, the guy right here went let the guy who's, you know, 50 yards away from him there. So third and eight, so a big third down here. All righty, center's 535. It's going to be a heavy run here. So they'll line up under center. They'll take it, turn, hand it off to Roberts, and he gets hit. I'd say Salem's going to use a timeout here. Down to about the 31-yard uh, line. Gain of a couple hard yards. As Roberts is, uh, he's he's got more lives than Jason Forhees, but he's making it. So it'll be fourth down and about seven now for the Senators as Roberts will come out of the game here, 5'11". Do you take it all the way down and call timeout, Bubba? I don't know. Yeah, I think I, I do. I think you do. I, I think, think I burn one here. I think you burn but one. They're not going no, to. They're not going to. All right. We're going to get a first down. So Kenton will set up here. McCoy and Johnson or Johnson and Crest. They'll turn, pitch it to Hudson. He'll try to cut. Now goes back up the middle. He's going to be short. It's down to the 25 yard Senators line. Senators are saying first down. I think he's short. I think he got it. I think he's short. I, I think he's short. I think he's short. That guy the spot. There, he's definitely short. But yeah, we'll this see. guy right here is the one that's going to be short. Yep, yeah, I knew short. this guy right here just planted his foot right there. So, center's got to play some defense here with 446 left. Cannot let anything big happen here. So, he needed seven, got six, and they'll turn it over on downs to the Lions. And that's a huge break for the uh, Lions here yeah. with 446 to go in the game. Hudson had a great run, but I just saw this guy right here planted his foot real quick, and I was like, that is not the line of game we needed. We needed the 25. And he was marking him, and that's what Jeremy has given him. Some questions there. Want to know how that ball was not well, to the 25. Two guys wide to the far side, one to okay. the near here. So Hudson's got to refocus there. Shotgun formation. We're struggling on defense. Zach Stice. To get set. Zach Stice has to be ready for a pass Snap too. Snap will come. They'll hand it off to Bowling. He'll try the wide side. Cress is out there, but can't get him. This next and guy through. Bowling, can't get him. He, get, he gets away, and he brings it across the 30 out to about the 31. So about a four-yard pickup there. That's a play we got to have somebody dead to rights. We we're not we're giving up way too many yards when we've got somebody dead to the rights in the backfield. Five-yard gain there by Bowling. So that'll bring second up second down and about four. They yep. give him about six on that carry. Yep. Clock down to about four. Center's got to get a turn over here. Got to get a turn. Two guys over. wide here to the near side, one to the far here. Snap will come on second down and four. Ball out. Stevenson, watch for Stevenson over Snap here. Snap comes. It's a high one. He has to pull it. Oh, down. Ball's down. Ball's down. And we got it back. I think we got it. No, they're saying no, he's no, good. No, he's no, 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 it's over here. It's yes, Senator ball. Senator football. Senator football. What a shot there yeah. as they come through and hit we gotta, it. Johnston come through, through and put a shot on Mall. He broke him Man. like the like that. Uh, light pole next to Casey's that's been broke four times. Yeah. He broke him in half. Boy, he made a big hit, and Maul couldn't hang on to it. The ball squirted loose, and we get it back Wowzers. at the 25-yard line. He was he was doing what he could, but by golly, man, what a what a big mo play there. So to Salem 25, first and 10 for the center. You know, we might, Bubba, we might have to take a timeout here because I don't know that we're going to yeah, be up there. 12 seconds. We're That's, hurrying though. We're okay. I in the backfield. Kenton brings the offense back. It's going to be a lot of White Johnson, I bet here. He'll go under center, takes it, turns, nope. keeps it himself, squirts through. He's got a hole, gets it down to about the 20. Yep. Just. 
before he goes down. So a gain of about five on that carry by Kenton. Next, next after this next play, that'll put us under three minutes here. Wow! And hey, every time the Senators tonight have had, uh, you know, almost the breaking point, they've been able to come back. They've had some, they forced some turnovers. Well, they just give him four yards. They move it back a yard. <laughs> so, second down and six now at the 21. Kenton just uh, trying to milk his clock. It's down to 15 on the play clock. 3:22 yeah. on the game clock. You want to be up there about 10 seconds. You want everybody up there about because we have uh, so much motion that goes in our offense. You got to be there. For Eye in the backfield. Snap will come. They'll turn, pitch it. It'll go to Kress. He'll try to go oh. wide and he just slips down at yeah. the 20. Yeah. Yep. That grass monster right there at the 20 got him. Might have got a yard. He should have cut back up quicker and he just didn't get it cut. So it'll bring up third and five. Timeout called, I believe by uh, Salem, I yep. believe, with uh, 2.58 to go here in the contest. The ball at the 20-yard line. So I think we've got all three of ours. And uh, let's see. They, they Now, two yeah. and two, it looks like. Two and yeah, two, maybe. Two. two and two. Okay, yep. I saw that on the brand new. Let's talk about that beautiful new scoreboard. I know yeah, we haven't talked about it. Looks talking, great. Looks there. great this year. I know that I know that Mr. Akers over here likes that. Amtech did a great job of wrapping that for us there. And uh, thank you to Chris Gerald and Jeremy Cox and all the guys out here, um, Troy McKinney, that have done such an awesome job with this field. Jesse Hoare, who uh, maintained this. This is the prettiest field, in, in my opinion. It is a great grass field. Yes. It's probably one of the best around. You see where we've beat it up tonight on the 40. Yeah, we've, we've <laughs> killed it out there about the 35 and 40. But yeah. third down and about five now for the Senators out of this timeout. And, yeah. uh, this would be a big conversion if they can get the five yards here. Yeah, trying to figure that out. This may be – now they got Wyatt and Ethan both in the backfield. It may be – Yeah, Roberts comes back in, so yeah. hopefully he can – Maybe he's going to block for McCoy, which could very well happen here on third down. Eye in the backfield. Kenton will go under center. 3.08 to go. Snap will come. He'll keep it himself. Nope. nope. Hand it off to Roberts. And he gets hit after a gain of a couple yards. Get off of there. Get off there. Nothing next, Nothing extracurricular right now. Yep. Don't need anything there. Yeah. And that's that's some of the plays. You know, you play till the whistle blows. Man, and Ethan is down again. He is just – he's struggling. He got two yards down to about the 18 and another timeout here. So – With 3.05. Clock still running. Now they stop it. So, I think you go and <laughs> – I'll be honest, Bubba, I think you kind of go maybe out of the gun and go a little wide and throw some, throw something here to just throw them off. And well, if, you got a fourth down yeah, and I mean, about four. So, I don't know. I, I like Kenton keeping the ball. I like Kenton. Give him that. And he's got to read this option a little bit and uh, maybe pull it out of there. But they're – you know, they're they're trying to – they're boxing their ends real strong and then they're stacking the middle. So, um, well, that's what I say. You go the out of the gun. play runs pretty well, yeah. but you got to get a little bit of momentum to get that veer to go. So we'll see what they can do. 247 on the clock. I thought they said three what? It was 309 when it started the last 247. 247, huh? 247 on the clock there. That's what they requested, so. He's calling now, so he wants to know. Two five seven, two five seven. Okay. There you go. As we get uh, the uh, call from Mr. Aaron Dennis down there helping us out, and so, so two five seven. There we go. That's what. Who is the guy? Who who is the who? Which of the guys has the time on the field? Is there one guy? Usually, see, it's uh, one the of the back side, judge. Back judge, because yeah. he's pulling out his paper, writing it down, and that's what you do. And we're trying to help out everybody. So we'll see. So it, it was. It was. Uh, I think it was when the timeout occurred was the real question. When did it get called? Because it was under three minutes. I know that because when we snapped it, it was going. We put snapped it three oh nine. Yeah. So. So it had and then to the be. play at least five seconds, and then they're calling that when the timeout was called. So, making sure you get all these times right is a key for these um, teams. And you hope that you hope the officials, you know, this is not their first week either. They've had nine weeks of this, so hopefully they've got it all together there. So fourth down and a long three here for the Senators. Ball at the 18-yard line of Salem. All right. So. This would be big if you could get it here. So Kenton will go under center, eye in the backfield. 
Snap will come. He'll fake he's, it. He's going to take himself. Keeps it himself. Cuts back up. Trying to get middle, skinny. He's going to get drilled. Down. So, so no gain on the play. At 5, 252 there. 252. The Lions are going to get it back here. So the centers are going to have to be tough on D, and they've done it. They've done it tonight, Bubba. They just got to do it one more time here. Be tough. So turnover on downs back to Salem at their own 19-yard line. So they've got to try to hold that line there. Well, they fumbled the last time, so we got to we got to get on them here. That's in that center's head too. He knows that his guy got rocked last time, so there's some there's some heat if Houchin can get in there or Keller because um, that's what they're going to double team Cruz. So that's why Houchin there 52 is going to be very key. He should be able to get a release to get in there. Two receivers wide to each side. Yes. Ball out of the gun. Snap will come here on Four first wide. down. He Good. wants to throw. He's got some time. Get Looks. to him, Roberts. Get got to him. Pressure get to him. By Roberts. He can't get to him. He cramps up again, and he gets it away. Oh, almost, almost picked, picked off by, by Zach Stice. Stice. And Stice knocks it down there as Maul tries to make something out of it. The only thing scrambling. I don't like about that, Bubba, is that he is a safety, okay? So he's the safety all the way up there. So he bit real, real hard when he took off running. So that means if, if – Cox got beat, then yeah. it was right over the top. Second down and 10 now back at the 19-yard uh, line. So, Mo will get to play, 2.42 to go. I'm going to get us a Jaquita Banana sponsorship yeah. for the next game. This is uh, tough tough here to watch. 14-7, to yeah. seven, tight ball game yeah. here. So, the Lions will go out of the gun. One receiver wide here to the near side bunch formation to the far. They line up. Now they throw it in the flat. Got it. made by Lorman. He's down in the – Good for he's a down. first down across the 20 out to the 20. It'll be good enough for a first down. They're going to wind so it. So he picks gets up it. about 13 yards out there. So I don't know if he came out of the backfield there, Bubba, or if no, he was – No, he was in that bunch. Bunch there and just the came out. the far side. And then so first and 10 out at the 20 uh, – or out at the 33-yard line. So 236. 36 to go now. And right. the Lions still with some life here. First and ten. They'll go out of the gun. Bowling behind Maul here. So snap will come. Bunch here to the near side this time. Snap's a little low. Roll. Looks like he wants to throw. Roberts chasing him. He gets it away at the last second. Doesn't need, don't and need. Just incomplete. no touch. No touch. No touch. Incomplete. As Stice come over to try to cover it. 2.30 the clock stops. Tried to get it out here to Bowman again. Yeah. Mole had a – he – had a lot of pressure and then throws it to a good spot because there's going to be nobody catch it and you know you just get it away and try again here. I think his real bread and butter is going to be a quick hitter, Bubba. I think you know as much as they've got one timeout left, they got some guys with some some burner speed like you've talked about. I think about. their game plan is to throw it in the flat, but See, we're covering we're cover that guy up really good and they're making him throw it deep. Deep, which is where wish you know, we could get to. Him that's here. where Jackson and uh, Zach's got to be real good and Trips Mason will, to the far side. side. One receiver here to the near. Mole out of the gun. Snap will come. He looks to throw again. Got pressure coming. Now he bombs one down the field. Cox back there. And it's incomplete. Incomplete, yeah. The receiver actually run into our defensive guy. That's not pass interference. No, you can't. Mason Cox had his hands up. He was not, yes. you know, touching him. So incomplete pass. As they tried you to also have to realize is that a catchable ball, too, in the same, in the same breath here. All righty. So another incompletion, 222 left. Crowd's getting ruckus here. They want 10. You got to stop them. Loudest, they, loudest they've been all year. So let's see it here. Let's stop them here as Maul will. They, you know, they're going to go for it on fourth down. So they got two more downs here. Yep. They'll go trips here to the near side. Yeah. Maul out of the shotgun with Bowling back there with him. Stice has to roll over and go whichever side that Snap they got. Will come. He looks. He's going to go across the middle. Drops it. Dropped. And he dropped had Stevenson it. wide open. Stevenson had a lot of green in front of him, and he dropped it. So that one incomplete. It'll bring up fourth and ten. All right. Is they're going to change out some? They're putting ball in for Cruz. Uh, I don't know whose guy that was, Bubba, coming out of there. I don't know if he well, got there. I don't know if, you know, your linebacker, he got behind the linebackers yes. and just set up right there in the middle, and it was open. Yeah. Sice was playing kind of prevent. So this is like, 218 to go, so you, you got to know that's maybe coming yeah. again here. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Is there, This crowd is raucous. Let's go fourth down here. 218 left. Center's so lead, no 14 up, Trips here to the near side. They're still not set. Snap will come to Maul out of the gun. He drops back, wants to throw. He's got plenty of time. Goes across the middle. Oh! Almost picked, picked off. off but it doesn't matter. Doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. That's, that's turnover Knock on it downs. down. Turnover on downs. 
as as I don't know if it was Johnson or who knocked it down there, it doesn't matter. You get the ball back here. They've got one timeout. You take care of the ball and you run out this clock. Yep. 2.13 left and first and 10 for Salem on the turnover on downs. Four straight incompletions there. So our defense done a great job covering that up. Yeah, definitely. And you go here and, uh, you know, Ethan Roberts, heavy Ethan Roberts. Well, that goes, we talk about those guys covering the flats, but Jackson and Mason covering the guys on the job. side, the speeders on the Mason's outside. Mason's play down here was really good because yeah. they had a receiver there. The receiver kind of run into him. But got about eight job. seconds here, Bub, I think. Hopefully, just High in the backfield. Kenton will take the snap on first down, hand it off Roberts. He goes off the left-hand side, picks up about five yards. There will be the last time out for the Lions. They'll give him four down to about the 31-yard line. Hey, and we'd like to thank all of our sponsors we've had tonight. We've had so many good ones. Uh, and you know what? We've talked about if you would like to be a sponsor, we got basketball season, girls' basketball season coming up. we got a couple more weeks here of football. And uh, give a call to um, Mr. Russell there. Give him an email. We'd gladly Absolutely. love to have you. Or call me. I'll, I'll, yep. I'll set you up. Yeah. I've got the we, uh, We've got a lot of plans. List. And I tell you what, I mean, I'm going to say it on the air. Our, our advertisement is cheap. Yeah. Uh, you can get on the full fall sports schedule for about 300 bucks, and that gives you all the boys, all the girls, um, all that stuff here. So jump on board. And our production is something I will tell you Second is we go to sectional next week. We are one of the most streamed usually because of our quality of what we have. We've well, seen our numbers. Years, years we've streamed the yeah. sectionals, regionals, yep. semi state games, and even after we're done playing, they've asked us. We're to excited do it. because our our fans from Texas will be tuning in. So Absolutely. we get our, our guys that uh, they they wonder where we go and they come back for us. So we got we got fans from all over and. Uh, that's pretty awesome. So, uh, you know, great thing to be a part of here, whether you're a small business or big business, you know, so many great ones. Eddie Gilstrap links. Um, I'm trying to name them all off. Uh, uh, Raymond James, <laughs> uh, pork producers, Ryan Bat. Yep. Lots so second down and six now, play clock down to five. Kenton will take the snap here. He'll turn, hey, hand Dolphin. it off for Roberts again. He's still chugging. Moving, still chugging as he takes it down to about the 27-yard line. So Ethan with another three-yard pickup. So and brings it'll up. be a third down and four at the 27. 147 to go. Just hang on to the ball. Poor Ethan Roberts, man. He has been a man tonight. I think I, I think you have the fighting those cramps. You have the young guys who haven't played carry him off the field, take him straight to the ice bath. <laughs> That's a. I'd like to see Kenton pull this right here. Uh, yeah. You know, not not that we need to score, just. Give Roberts a little bit of a break because they're biting on him heavy. They got seven, eight guys up there in the box. Even their safety's moved up. Snap will come. They'll hand it off. It'll go to Roberts. And once again, he bulldogs down. He might have gotten a first 25. down. Five. He's close. He's close. Let's see that spot. We might be real short if he is. Is if he is, then that's gonna it's gonna be fourth and another three yard pickup. Fourth and one. Yep. So the ball at the 25 yard line. Play so clock. Under a minute now. You take this all the way down. You call the timeout. Game clock under a minute. I yeah, mean. you take the play clock down to one. You call the timeout. Yep. And then you. Well, you can't snap it or down it or take a knee because it's no. fourth down. You got to try to get this yard, but I'd take it down to about five or six and then call it here. So they'll stop it with the timeout called by West Washington. 37 seconds will stay here. And, you know, barring un un some kind of unforeseen happenings here, uh, you know, if you well, can get this one yard, do you do, do you go with the nudge? Do you go with the Roberts? Or do you go with, like, Kendall and run it? I go with Q Snake. But, you yeah. know, they're going to stack that oh, box. Yeah. I, you know, I don't know here. You you got to you gotta get this yard uh, to be for sure because they would still have time if you don't get it. But you got to get a sure snap. You got to get off the ball here. I watched a team out of Arkansas. They went up and it was a pure nudge play, you know, like they did. Everybody gets up there and the tight end just takes off and boom, boom. I mean, literally like this is how it was. And it was just like nobody and like everybody, went, what the heck happened? Well, that could work here because yeah. they're, they're stacking everybody. They know this is coming and you know, you just gotta, you just gotta either get this yard or try something, uh, you know, to the, tight end or one of your receivers here so we'll see they're gonna stack the box up heavy they got nine guys up there the only guy out here is uh number four is out here on titan williams so kenton goes under center 
Snap will come. They'll turn, hand it off Roberts. I think he got push, it. Push, he got it. Yeah. Yeah, he's still on his feet. Everybody roll off. Everybody roll yep. off. As he picks up the yardage all the way down to the 22-yard line. And that's probably going to be it because all we got to do is go victory formation. So Roberts with that one-yard run for a first down, and we win this ball game, 14 to 7 over the Lions here tonight as Roberts still cramping and still trying to get off the field. As Coach here. Lowry gets a little ice back there, beating his former team there. And, uh... So the Senators get a big win here over Salem. First time we beat them in uh, six years, uh, five years, yeah. As uh, we get the uh, win here, 14-7, to seven, hard play game. Yep. Give the Lions credit. You know, they never folded. They went down 14 to nothing. And then come back here and shut us out in the second half. Got their own score on that uh, Evan Bowling run. And, uh, you know, made it interesting here at the end. But the Senators hold on to get this victory here tonight. And more importantly, go to uh, – Eastern Green next week. Six and yep. two on the year. year. Go to Eastern Green next week for a big season and go into sectional play at Eastern Green next week. Salem will go home to take on Charlestown in that one. So uh, big win here by the Senators. And as, uh, in a year uh, that surprised a lot of people, Bubba, I'll be honest with you. You know, uh, coming off of last year's uh, team, you know, that, you know, coming around and doing well and, you know, missing out on a game two where we could easily be 7-2 and two right now probably. Oh, absolutely. Could uh, be. And the Senators uh, with a great win here tonight. And uh, I tell you what, um, Salem's got nothing to hang their heads about. They just didn't have enough time. Nope, absolutely. So they played hard. Lions uh, fall here tonight as the Senators get a big win, 14-7. to seven. Over Salem, the county rivals, uh, West Washington with that uh, county championship. So uh, they take the take that uh, traveling trophy back away from Salem here. And the Lions uh, will play Charlestown next week in their first round. West Washington on the road at Eastern Green. We'll have that one here for you on West Washington live stream and WWSR. So that's all the time we've got tonight. I want to get down there and celebrate with the kids <laughs> as a uh, great win here for the Senators. Thank all our sponsors once again. As we mentioned, Eddie Gilstrap Motors, the Community Foundation, uh, Raymond James uh, Financial, Michael Long, American Family Insurance, and also uh, Ryan Batt with the uh, United Producers as they cover it for some Lynx clothing and shoes. So. For the coach, Brad Mills, and the professor, Craig Akers, this is Bub Abbott. We say God bless you, and we'll send it back over.